what up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shaw, Shaw Everybody Podcast, man. Episode 95. We got rapper, creator of Sun One Nation. Yeah. I mean, network. I said nation like it's <laughs> Sun One Network, man. We got Tony Archon. Yes, sir. I said last name right. Archon. Archon. Yeah. All right, man. I, I didn't want to, you know, saying bot your name up and stuff, yeah, man. You stay, you stay. <laughs> Everything been smooth with you, man. My man just coming from off the off the flight straight yeah. to the podcast, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. That's how we doing. I'm feeling good, man. I'm blessed. Happy for to sure. be here. For sure. Um, appreciate the opportunity. Oh yeah, for um, sure, man. No doubt. You know, I, I definitely saw what you so I would see what you're doing. Yeah, um, yeah. Actively right now, and and I appreciate it. I respect it. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm for following sure. you and. And stand in touch and I'm you know I'm honored to be a part of this. I mean I appreciate you reaching out, man. It's yeah. always good when somebody reach out to you instead of yeah. you asking, asking, asking. And then I had heard your music and stuff. We gonna get into that a little later, but I heard your music. I'm like, duh, dog, dope. Yeah. dope. Like yeah, appreciate for it. sure. I wouldn't appreciate bring dope it. people on. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I aim for dope artists and whatever you do is if, if it's acting, hooping, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I try to watch that's, and see what they're doing. Absolutely. So I, we're on the same wave and we'll sure. talk about this business, but that's the that's basically the idea. For sure. You know, it's, it's Hell yeah. finding people who do what they do and, and, and really bought it and invest in it you know spend sure. money spend time mm -hmm. um spend energy and and like and study it yeah you know for sure saying? for sure and like i love that and i want to be a part of people who oh yeah you know, who oh yeah that kind of thing too so oh yeah oh yeah man well should before we get into everything man with your with your business with yeah. the music and everything dog we always start off every show with a salute me while i'm here a lot of times you wait for people to pass away to give them their flowers and make a long Facebook, you know what I'm saying, post yeah. about how dope they were, but you never told him or her that mm -hmm. in their face, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But the only thing about it, you can't, you can't uh, say the, the obvious, mom, dad, yeah. if you got a lady, kids, it got to be somebody outside of that immediate circle. So mm. you got anybody you want to go ahead and give some flowers to? It could be multiple people, one person, just somebody you can salute that's not a part of that inner circle. Yes, it's a good friend of mine. Her name is G. Mm -hmm. um, she is a very special person. Okay. Um, a person who I've learned a lot from in the past year. For sure. Uh, spent a lot of time with, and yeah, she just she she's a visionary. Mm -hmm. um, very intellectual, very spiritual, um, very on her stuff. She's uh, about to graduate from Michigan soon too. That's where I just I That's just graduated up. from. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, so yeah, man, I think uh, it's, it's definitely. If if I get an opportunity to shout out mm -hmm. um, a beautiful young black woman, oh yeah, for she's sure. one of them people, and, and we gotta definitely do that. Oh uh, yeah, we gotta oh, yeah. represent our queens too. Oh yeah, all day, all day, all day. Got to man. Good, good salute, good yeah. salute, man. My my salute gonna be man. <laughs> Shit, man. It's ninety five, man. So mm -hmm. you know I've been salute my ass off, man. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it. My salute gonna be to the mothers and the mm -hmm. grandmothers that's preparing for Thanksgiving mm. because. I was over my uh, mother-in-law house, man. I was hungry, man. Like, right, she was chopping things up. Like, she getting ready right now. Like, she chopping the small stuff up, put it in the freezer just to get ready for Thanksgiving, dog. Hell yeah. Because she got, like, 30 That's people coming fact. over. Yeah. So, it's just her. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, she, like, she getting ready. So, salute to them grandmas who, with the grandma peas. I call, you know, them grandmas with the with the, with the little baggage yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if he's snapping them peas. Put elbows in there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. You know, it'd be, be breaking. Yeah, add a different sauce to it, For though, sure, for know? sure. So, salute to all them grandmas, man. The, the mothers out there getting ready for, you know what I'm saying, this big dinner, man. Yeah, man. Speaking of, dog. Before we get to everything, man, give me a Thanksgiving meal. I mean, a Thanksgiving dish that you gotta have, and one that you like, man. You can leave that at the crib. I gotta have macaroni and cheese. Oh yeah, for I sure. Gotta have the macaroni and cheese with the with the yams, um, and um, man, some type of chicken. If I got them three, I'm mm -hmm. at least I'm gonna be straight. Those is the staples. So you ain't no turkey dude. That gonna be too dry. Turkey, turkey is dope too. Yeah. But I gotta <laughs> have some chicken. I gotta have macaroni and cheese, and yeah, I gotta sure. have the yams. What what what's some junk that could stay that could stay at the at the crib? Like man, don't even bring that to the. Don't even bring that around me, man. man. I ain't even gonna cap my family. We don't do that shit. Oh, everything, everything good. Is <laughs> everything is on. Yeah, everything yeah, yeah. Is, you know, everything on the plate. It ain't never. Yeah, it's never not like that. You know, For sure. everything is good. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So I, just, I, I just don't. I don't like that fucking um, banana. Uh, I'm about to say banana pudding. I don't like. Uh, What's that one fucking shit? Potato salad. Potato salad. Yeah. Sometimes potato salad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fair. I'm Sometimes smooth. potato salad is like, yeah. Yeah. It ain't. It ain't essential. Yeah, for you know sure. What I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't. It ain't gotta be there. Yeah, it don't. <laughs> hey, don't, dog. This would be like, and you know, it's the person that made the potato salad really can't cook. Yeah. Like, they, that's her dish. They put, she, they put them on the potato yeah. salad. <laughs> like, go ahead and make the potato salad. Ain't nobody touching it. She mad. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So I sleep on that junk, dog. Yeah. You gotta uh. 
a messed up Thanksgiving moment, though. Like, it was just a terrible, terrible, because... Man, I mean, I can't, I think, can't think of one that's, like, just terrible, bad experience, but I remember um, a couple Thanksgivings ago, I was... I wrestled in high school, okay. so I I did a whole lot of fasting. Yeah. Um, and that's re wrestling is in, in oh, Thanksgiving yeah, in season, yeah, yeah, winter, yeah. winter time. Um, so when it was time to eat and whatnot, uh, after having done all that fasting, yeah. I over I was just very gluttonous. <laughs> I was just eating Went way crazy. too much, and I just was it was painful. Man, I you bet. Know? Hell yeah. Yeah. But I but it was like it was tasting so good that I wasn't stopping eating. <laughs> So it was, it, was, it was like, fuck, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah, for sure. You know, my dog. homie was eating too. He was on the wrestling team. So we both was just like, crazy. fuck it, you know. Yeah. And, um, but we was yeah, stuck, man, stuck. Yeah. We were stuck. Damn, yeah. man. I can't, wait yeah. to, I can't wait to next week, man. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I'm going it's ham, about man. that time. Hell yeah, man. Now, 2021, man. It's, of course, it's been a crazy year ever since uh, last year. It's been crazy with this pandemic and everything yeah. going on and how you got to adjust and all that stuff, man. But uh, with this year... Um, like it been some ups and downs. How how have your year been, man? Some good, some bad. Yeah. Uh, you feel like you still got some more to accomplish with this? You know, what I'm saying last month left. Like absolutely, man. Uh, it's been the off season. Okay. J Cole is okay. one of my favorite artists. Mm -hmm. uh, I just went to go see his show in New York, man. Okay. It was a blessing to, to go experience that. For sure. Um, but the off season, that's what this past year has been. It's mm -hmm. given me a lot of time to sit and reflect on who I am For and sure. who I want to be. Yeah. Um, and you know, out of that has sprung a lot of ideas, mm -hmm. um, musically, professionally. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I just graduated and and oh, yeah, during congrats, the pandemic, man. so. Yeah. Um, I had a whole lot of time to reflect and to and to you know imagine what I want my next steps to be, mm -hmm, for and sure. that also meant that I have been spending a lot of time working on these crafts, yeah, yeah, investing. For sure. So it's been the off scene. It's been a lot of grind, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, a lot of investing. You know, like people look at, you know, even you, they they look at what you do and, and might think it's just a you know you got a yeah, little podcast, but sure. it's money yeah. that you got to put Hell into yeah, this yeah, shit. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's like, time. It's time. You got family. Like, you got to reach out. Yeah. You got to market. You got to. Sure, it's facts. a whole another thing. So don't let you have another job on top of that yeah, shit. Yeah, for sure. Or don't let you have kids and family. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know, fortunately, I ain't got no kids. But yeah. like, it, so basically, what I'm saying is that while um, you know coming up, it's definitely still been a struggle. It's been a grind to. Um, maintain all of these dreams and these and these you know endeavors. For sure, fast, fast, hell yeah, hell so. yeah, man, hell yeah, man. So man, and to you, man, I don't like, you know, I don't like jumping right into the music, man. I, I, I like yeah, yeah. for the audience to get to know, you know, what I'm saying the person on the show. Absolutely. So man, growing up, man, we know you from uh, you from Jackson, Michigan, yes, man. Yes, I think yeah, you the first person for sure, that, you know, from Jackson <laughs> on the show, man. So uh, talk about growing up, man. How it is in Jackson, man. Like like, give us a little bit of that uh, that background, you know, man, saying yourself. It's so funny because one time I was doing a show at Blind Pig. Okay. And um in Ann Arbor. Okay. And, I um, heard that, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's a legendary spot in Ann Arbor. Okay. And um, like they was like, "Where y'all from? Blah blah blah. Yeah. We got people from who from Detroit? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Everybody, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Detroit, you know what I'm saying? East side, West. Yeah. And, uh, MC, who we got? Yeah, a couple of people from MC. They shy and yeah. shit, you yeah, know. Sure. Uh, <laughs> and then I said Jackson. They said, "Did you say Jackson?" <laughs> Oh, Did no. somebody out there say Jackson? Somebody get this nigga. <laughs> like Jackson, like. <laughs> <laughs> so I sat back. I said, "All right, we're gonna see one day." Yeah, for sure. So how is Jackson? Like, it's like your yeah. typical hood. Like, I mean, Jackson. See, I've been fortunate to experience like so many angles of Jackson, so many sides of Jackson. Mm -hmm. You know, I've experienced the hood. I, you know, I've li lived in the hood. I've lived in the country. I've lived in. Uh, good neighborhoods in yeah, Jackson. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, so I've gotten to see all of these different angles, which has incited who I am as a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I started off in the country. My 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 mom and dad were married, and um, mm. and we had a house. We built a house in the country. Okay, okay. Um, so that's where my three sisters and I were raised okay. early on in our early childhood. Yeah. When they separated, we you know, everything kind of just changed. And yeah. You know, we had to move into different areas that weren't as nice. Yeah, for sure. Um, so we had to learn how to adapt to that. <clears throat> Over time, you know, my, my parents, they start, you know, getting their feet under themselves mm -hmm. separately. Mm -hmm. um, so... Our environment improved better, over yeah. time, yeah. Um, so we got to see that, and mm -hmm. 
big ups to my moms um who has been so strong in that process oh, yeah, for sure. um Shout know, out to moms. And, and and raising us and my father as well who has mm-hmm. never given up on us which um you know a lot of a lot of fathers you know when they parent when they separate from the Facts, woman man. they Facts. got they deal with that shit. they yeah. they they don't they give up on the kids oh man. yeah for sure you know for my sure. father never did that and that's what made me who i am today you know yeah. cuz at first initially when they uh when they split man you know i don't want to get into it yeah, yeah, into yeah, it sure. but like what did did it affect you and your siblings in here? like oh like, yeah definitely it was it, like me any any young kid who experienced a separation yeah. with they with their parents they might experience something like wondering which parent they love the most. For sure, which yeah, parents yeah. They Especially fuck when you're young, because yeah, you don't know better. Young, yeah. yeah, and then it's like they issues get to seeping into, you mm-hmm. know, your perceptions of who, you know, yeah. which at the end of the day, you're supposed to just love both of them. Yeah, for sure. And I had to learn that over time. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, obviously, it's different things that my mom might bring to me that my pops won't. Yeah. But I need my, pops, need my pops for certain yeah, things that my mom can't bring yeah, to for me, sure. you know? Yeah, for sure. So, um, <clears throat> that definitely had an impact on that and um, at the end of the day though as time has grown and everybody's grown up my, yeah. my three sisters we are grown now mm-hmm. and you know we understand it for what it is yeah, what yeah, it yeah. was um, and we everybody it's all love and yeah. everybody understands Cause when you young bro like you don't be knowing but you be like once you get older you be like damn I understand why mom and dad might yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying if they yeah. would have stayed together it probably would have been bad on yeah, us as a, overall you and, know what I'm saying like that's the thing man we gotta talk about those things cause it's so many it's so many young people who are so confused about mm-hmm. that shit they don't even understand Hell yeah. and they don't understand why their dad might not want to be there right now yeah. or, or my, like we got to empathize with, with pops who just gave up on the kids and understand where he coming from mm-hmm. not condoning it not saying yeah, it's okay but, yeah. but understanding where he coming from yeah. so we can figure out how um, we can fix that yeah, because that's you not, get, it's a it's a it's an issue that's yeah. Cause once you get older, you be like, and you start going through life shit, you be like, damn, you I learn, understand. You like, learn yeah. that shit. Like yeah. I used to not understand why my you know situations would happen, but yeah. now I'm I'm older and I'm yeah, like, damn, sure. that <laughs> shit makes sense. God, yeah, dog. God, Especially God, as a black God, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Especially it's as a black life. man, dog, it be pressure on us, dog. Yes, like, you man. know what I'm saying? You, sometimes you got pressure at home with, yeah. the, with with your lady. You got pressure at work. You got pressure being a black man. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna all that come together. It's like come what on, the man. fuck, man? Everywhere. I just want to, I just want motherfucker chill, yeah. motherfucker bro, 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 relax, bro, yeah. Man, sit back. I ain't trying to do shit, man. <laughs> For real, dog. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to no kids right now. But, I can't. Yeah. I, can't even... I think, dog, that's just like it's just pressure on us, dog, and like especially with. I don't want to down women, dog. I yeah. love, I love my my yeah, women yeah, out here, yeah. man. But sometimes they put a lot of pressure on the man, dog. Cause you got some women that think the man supposed to take care of home, supposed yeah, to take man. care of work, supposed to take care of everything. Yeah. I ain't supposed to do shit, but just look good and you know spend money. Oh man, you know what I'm saying? So now, that's a tough conversation, yeah. but it's a real conversation that need to be had. Man, you see so many chicks like ain't no 50 50 fuck that. You gotta do everything and like you know what I'm saying? That, oh, man. that right there can make them. And you, then you wonder why niggas step out and start messing around because yeah, man. if you doing all that shit, you ain't appreciate the crib. You yeah. like man, fuck, I'm gonna keep. What, yeah. What's up with Keisha over it's here? Hard. You know what I'm it's definitely hard for for a man to feel. Um, like inspired to do the work when he not feeling appreciated for mm-hmm. the work that he putting in, mm-hmm. you know, because like when, when you a man who really about your shit and getting up and and making it happen for yourself and yeah. for your people, it's a different. It's it's a di- it's di- it's a difference. Yeah, There's a sure. lot of men out here who sitting on their ass, yeah, yeah, yeah. who sitting on the couch all day, Ain't doing shit, you know. Yeah, yeah. So like I'm a man who you know deserves some respect for that yeah for sure you know and, yeah. I, and I deserve some compensation for yeah, that you yeah, know yeah. I, I, like I need a teammate yeah for you know? sure for and sure. I need teammates whether that's that's my partner or whether that's my homies yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And, and we all need to understand what role we each play in the, in the grand Bro, scheme that, of things that, what you say that's fat though with yeah. all, when it comes to your friends when it comes to family yeah. when it comes to your special relationship you need somebody that's gonna be side by side absolutely fucking bat to bat yeah. fighting and scrapping yeah. with, you know what I'm saying and see, and see like and they, you need them to see like you working they see you they understand that yeah, you working yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and whether it's bring me a little bowl of macaroni and cheese you know what i'm saying yeah, nigga bro. hungry as fuck <laughs> like i ain't ate shit i you know what i'm saying like i no, ain't shit sure. roll me a blunt yeah, like yeah. damn that's for it, sure, for it, sure. And, and at the vice versa when you see your homies like we got to do that too it, yeah. it's you know uh show out to our peoples as well and, and when we get a chance to do it because you know, yeah. it, that's what it's a give and take. Hell know? yeah, man. Hell yeah. And like I say, will you go uh, to uh, piggyback on what you said as far as like relationships and stuff and like knowing like if the relationship ain't right. That's how I'm married. Me yeah. and my wife got two kids, but previous to that, I had a son with my high school girlfriend. Yeah. And once we seen like, no, we don't click no more. Like, yeah. this yeah. unhealthy for us, for a kid. Like, at the end of the day, 
Shit, it's, it's better that we go our separate ways. Yeah, yeah. Shit, we, we good friends. We take care of our, our son. Yeah. Ain't no arguing my son. See that both of us can be around each other without, like, damn, I hate her. Or Absolutely. I hate him and shit. Yeah. So that's important to people. Like, a lot th- I think a lot of women and dudes don't understand when it's time to separate, they don't mean y'all got to hate each other. Like, yeah, it's man. Still cool. That, still like, love. It's, it's emotional maturity. It's maturity, just generally speaking, is understanding the thing from the from a bigger picture. Yeah. You know, understanding ourselves and I, I think it all it come back to yourself. Yeah, for you sure. Know, if you understand yourself, you're gonna you're gonna realize that this ain't nothing personal. Oh yeah, hell you yeah. You know, that situation is better off in whatever way it gotta be. Oh know? yeah, for so, sure, for sure. This is D brother right here, man. Yeah. D brother, D brother. We bought it, man. Like, like you gotta be Yeah, we bought it. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Now uh you know of course you you uh you you rap, you do music, mm-hmm. but you know what I'm saying with everything that we do as far as like a love or a passion, we get that from the crib by like it could be like a basketball. My dad was watching a certain team or a certain player. Mm-hmm. So, but with music, who was your musical influences? Just from what your parents was playing, you were just liking the stuff that they were liking. Man, I remember so clearly, man. Back when my my pops and I, we used to ride in his red Cadillac. Yeah. Um, in the Chalet Terrace, that's where my grandma used to stay. It's oh. like you know, lower you know lower income housing, public mm-hmm. housing, pretty much. For sure. Um, but we used to ride through there, mad potholes in the streets. And shit, <laughs> and, um, we he he had this Biggie uh, uh, mixtape okay. that had all his greatest hits on there. Yeah. And from the introduction of that, you mm-hmm. know, when I when I first heard that, yeah. I was like, man, this hip hop shit is just crazy. Yeah. But from there, um, I started you know getting into other hip hop too. Mm-hmm. I, I was probably like 11, 10, 11 at the time. Okay. Um, but I started getting into everything from Lil Wayne to yeah. you know Chief Keef, yeah, 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 um, sure. Fat Fabulous. Like I was everywhere and, and just um, soaking it all up because yeah, yeah, yeah. it was all hip hop to me. It was all motivation. I, when I got put on the Nipsey Hustle oh, man. and recognizing that you know yeah. it's deeper than just the music. It's Hell deeper yeah. than just um, the business. It's, it's what you stand behind. It's, it's what sure. you know. It's, it's deeper than just the words that you saying. It's how you. It's 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 the footsteps that yeah, you got. Sure. What, what's it, what it look like? And it's know? crazy you say Nipsey because like real real talk. Yeah. Uh, what he was doing is the reason why I kind of like I wanted to start this podcast, but it's the reason why I'm like fuck. I'm gonna start it because mm. I kept talking about the shit. And then when he passed away, I'm like, dog, everything that he did mm. at a young age, bro, mm. the, and the impact he he mm. made. I'm like, dog, why the fuck am I sitting here bullshitting on, on something yeah. that I feel like I'm talented at? And you got life. Yeah. You got breath. For sure. You, know, it's, you it's, never know you're going to take that last breath. Man, you and never you, know. You're going to live, you know, you're going to die with regrets that yeah. you're like, damn, I wish. I mean, of course you did, but. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no, it's like, you don't want to die with regrets, though. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have a mo- you gonna have a moment before that before it's all the way gone. Where you like fuck. I ain't do shit that I want. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so, that happened every day. Yeah, you know? for sure, for sure, man. So yeah, nip, rest nip, peace. nip, nip, nip. Yeah, rest in peace, to nip, mm-hmm. man. Nip hustle. So um, you was talking about Wayne, Fab Man. Who was your first favorite rapper, dog? That you can remember, like. Like, damn, this definitely it was big, my first big. favorite. But then I got introduced to Pac, and he became like my favorite, one of my favorite people in the world. Oh yeah, for you sure, know, ever. You know, favorite, just, uh, favorite Tupac album. Um, shit, I would say probably Me Against the World, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's my shit. Like, yeah, yeah. That got me through a lot of shit. So. But you know, I went back on and I realized it was dope. But at, at a young age, I didn't understand mm-hmm. how dope the album was. Mm-hmm. Strictly for my niggas. Strictly for my niggas is crazy. I mean, he's got a. A few on there that's just really, really outstanding. And it's, it's, you know? it's going with the times right now. If you listen to some of them songs, like, on, damn, man. what the I fuck, mean, dog? I get around his own. That's like, <laughs> I, come on, man. <laughs> Pac, I watch Pac. Um, I watch him perform. And I study him, his performances. Sure. You know, just see his live performances. And it, that's that's why, too. He mm-hmm. went, but That's why he became one of my favorite just auto, all-around artists and For people sure. because... Um, everything about what he was doing was raw energy and it was mm-hmm. raw it was his uh, best effort to, to speak his truth for sure um, he was not perfect mm-hmm. and you know I think that you know if you watch some of the videos that he could have had better character in some in some areas yeah. he could have shown more poise mm-hmm. um, but he was also very young and learning about shit and learning sure. like you know learning what emotional maturity for is sure. and at the end of the day I couldn't even ex- I couldn't even imagine yeah. the type of pe- pressure, the type of um, and know how old he was, bro. Yeah, like <laughs> the, the type of um, like shit he had to deal with. Like yeah. nowadays, you gotta watch your watch around every corner. But back yeah. then, it was like he was a superstar. With who was really to protect him? Yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? Yeah, who yeah, was yeah. his niggas really? Who did yeah. he? And like his lack of trust, I think, had his it it, it impacted. Yeah, for sure. Fast. You know, hell yeah, hell yeah. And that's why I believe like he got so. 
he got so involved and tied in with the gang culture over there in Cali yeah. when he went with, uh, with Suge and stuff. Yeah. It kind of fucked him up, but I, I believe that's probably like the first time he felt like family and love. Yeah, and you know that's the thing about hip hop. It'll do that to you too, and that's that's what I love about hip hop. That's what I feel brought you know obviously brought us here today. For sure, for sure. Um, and that's that's my whole thing mm -hmm. is, is hip hop has given me an opportunity to tap in with people who I otherwise wouldn't have Never, tapped yeah, in. You know, yeah. people it, it, it put me in a room with people where like I'm like I said, I'm from Jackson, man. Yeah, for sure. But yeah. if I wasn't really bothered with this hip hop shit, you you wouldn't you wouldn't feel the same with me. Yeah. You know, talking to me. But and at the end of the day, that just is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know? But hip hop, um, we can connect because we both have been bit by the bug of hip hop. For we sure, both love sure. it. Yeah. And and that's something that's powerful in that, you know, like it can it, it go across the world. For sure, you know, fast. I can go to China and yeah, over yeah, there. they know they 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 won't even know the words and still be going yeah, crazy. They, they, <laughs> all, the, they, all the way hip for they sure. Know, you know, hell yeah, hell crazy. yeah. Now, dog, give me a uh, what's a like to stay on this on this subject, man. G give me a song or an album, dog, that just take you back to a time in life that you just remember, like plain as day. Besides, you know, listen to Biggie greatest hits on that mm. with your dad. But what's some shit that you just like? Damn, I I remember I was here or there or living here or. You know what I'm saying? Man, I listen to so much music. Um, yeah. You know, uh, I would say probably Playboy Cardi, man. That's what's crazy. You probably would never expect yeah. me to say yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I Could fuck you, with it? Playboy Cardi. I fuck with a lot of the new guys, too. Mm -hmm. um, but Playboy Cardi, yeah, just last year, he dropped the album around this time, a little bit later, around Christmas. Okay. Um, on Christmas, I believe it was. Yeah. And um, I was listening to his album, and... Um, I was not particularly impressed at mm. first. I yeah. wasn't like, I wasn't too into it. It felt like low vibes to mm. me. The, the music I was listening to it, it felt like it was bringing me lower because I had just listened to Joyner Lucas's album, which okay. dropped like a couple of days before yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Joyner Lucas's album. You know, energy. It felt like positive. It mm -hmm. felt like you know what I'm saying, invigorating. Mm -hmm. um, then I listened to Playboy's, which I've been fucking with Playboy, and people have been waiting for him to drop an album for yeah, years yeah, yeah. and years, um, and you know, finally he did, and it was just the vibes. Was, it's just kind of weird, but um, it also showed me that I gotta be patient with artists sometimes, and, and sure. you see where they trying to come yeah. from, yeah, and, yeah. Um, and also be patient with myself. Mm -hmm. And that's why I listen to different type of artists so I can, you know, imagine, you know, how would I go about, yeah. you know, how would I, like, how would I, you know, adopt that that sort of approach, um, mm -hmm. but bring it in my own way. For sure, know? for sure, hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Cause uh, and then every personal artist, man, to drop something, especially when it be like a big gap, and you would just yeah. anticipate on this album, you like dog. Yeah, and then exactly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. And it like, happened, but everybody was yeah, on that. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Cause it ain't nothing like you anticipating something, and you be like, all right, fifteen songs, okay, bet. yeah, man. Like you be like, come on, bro. Like yesterday, you spent all this time. I had, I had no anticipation, no nothing as far as the, this new Snoop album. Yeah, the, dog, it's I a nice did. album, bro. Is it? Is it's it? like a compilation album, like some old DJ Khaled type stuff, because you know he just got that deal with Def Jam. Mm, mm. Man, it's a dog. It's a dope album, bro. Oh, like, I gotta bump that, man. Yeah, man. He got he got the right people in the right songs, bro. That's like, what's up. It's hard. Snoop, nigga. man. Snoop is just legendary. Hell yeah. Like he just. You, you look at how he as a businessman. Look man. what he's doing is just ridiculous. Yeah, man. No matter like, what it is, he adapts to the times. I heard him on the um, on the fight between. Uh, <laughs> did you hear that shit? <laughs> ah, that is Dog, bro, bro, I wouldn't watch anything with him, bro. Like, bro. I, I wouldn't do all the commentary for football, basketball. Come on. <laughs> Why he was clowning like that, dog, man? That he be shit tripping, was fucking dog. hilarious. That, dog, Snoop. We were talking about this shit one day, dog. Snoop is the most recognizable probably Absolutely, person man. in the world probably top five bro yeah because man. my yeah. son is five and know who snoop dogg is yes and i'm quite sure it's a white old grandmother that know who snoop dogg you is you can't do nothing but respect it yes, love dog. it man it's hip-hop for know? sure and he and he like he infiltrates all these different communities with hip-hop because mm -hmm. that's where he came from that's sure. what that's where his source is yeah and that's beautiful and i respect that so much yeah, and yeah. i and i admire that and i i, I, I seek to um, you know, adopt that approach, you mm -hmm. know, and, and and bring bring hip hop and everything that I'm doing sure. as well. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Unapologetically. Shout out to Snoop Dogg, man. I love yeah. Snoop Dogg, man. One of my favorite. He 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 in my personal top five. Absolutely, like my personal, man. like you yeah, know, what I'm saying yeah. not just yeah. off the lyrics and bars yeah. and stuff. He just 
It, it ain't no other Snoop Dogg. It's only one Snoop Dogg, bro. That's Snoop Dogg. It, it, yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> I mean, look at what he's doing. Yeah. Look at what he has done. For sure. Know? For sure. And, and not even just for himself. Yeah. You know, for others. Yeah, for and, sure. You know, other artists. Yeah. And letting them eat. You know, and that's beautiful. He said something on Gillian Wado podcast uh, that made sense, bro. He mm -hmm. like, bro, talk, he should be running Death Row. Yeah, and he said, man. just imagine. He said, if he was running Death Row, imagine all the LA niggas he would have had signed with him. <sighs> who fuck with him. Like, you go to the game. You go to... K die, you go yeah, to man. motherfucking uh, shit. Uh, um, anybody from the West Coast, yeah, really? Yeah. Shit. I mean, he's he, from from what I see, he's a hard person to to not love. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but yeah, Snoop is the is a goat, man. Absolutely. But man, I always ask people this, man. For right, this is gonna be the last thing before we jump into the music, dog. Yeah. You know, like, give me something that um growing up you wanted to be, but you never told nobody. Cause, and niggas be like, what? Like for real? Like for me, for example, when I was a little homie, I wanted to tap dance. Like, you know what I'm saying? Tap dancing is like. I want to play piano, like. Man, West Side Gun put some tap dance piano too, man. Yeah. Piano, but West Side Gun put tap dance in his in his <laughs> album, man. That shit just I just gotta respect it. It was mm -hmm. just fucking dope. Um, I would love to tap dance myself. At some point. <laughs> yeah, I want to break sure. dance too. One day. I got, yeah, I'm going sure. out in New York. I real, learn yeah, how to break dance. real hip hop shit. Um, but um. I wanted to be an actor when I was a kid, and I've I've done acting. I did some acting classes at yeah. Michigan, yeah. Um, and I've acted in a couple of plays at, at Michigan too. Okay. Um, but that was I remember being a kid, and Omar Epps was like my favorite yeah, yeah, actor. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. Juice was one of my favorite movies, you know. For sure, and, man. And I hit up Omar Epps on like Facebook or MySpace <laughs> or something. Like, I, I just I, like, yeah. messaged him like, yeah. "What's up? Like, yeah. whatever is gonna happen is gonna happen." Yeah. Omar, it was nothing true. happened, obviously. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it was like it, I remember being a kid and, and having that in me to to, yeah. to reach out and to be like, you know. I don't care what's gonna happen, but I know that what's in my control is I could reach out to him and, sure. and you know at least see what his perspective might be, what he might be able to you know pass down to me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, Hell yeah, man, it's gonna happen, man. We gonna speak yeah. into you know absolutely, what I'm saying. Absolutely, absolutely. You gonna you gonna rock with you, dog. Yeah. Then when you do that, come on the show. Yeah, yeah, easy. <laughs> easy, for sure, for sure. Easy. Now, uh, you know, you talk about high school off camera. You was talking about how you, you know, not off camera shit. When we talk yeah. about the Thanksgiving shit, yeah. you talk about how you wrestled and stuff like that, yeah. man. Give me a, a, a breakdown of high school, man. How was it for you, man? Was it good times? Would you wish you would have did more? Like, you know what I'm saying? What, what, how was high school for you, man? High school was a very interesting time. Mm. Um, I was real good in high school. Yeah. I took AP classes. I was um, a, a really solid student. Mm. Um, around high school is when I had an epiphany. I, I, I turned like 13 years old. Okay. Um, I was 13 in high school, turned mm. 14. Um, as a freshman mm. and um, <clears throat> I had an epiphany around then it was like when I started realizing that I'm going to pursue higher academia mm -hmm. and, um, and and I'm going to go to college and yeah. I'm going to pursue Michigan mm -hmm. and I pursued a full ride scholarship with this caddy program that I was working at Okay. Um, so it was like uh, it's called the Evans Scholars yeah I'm about to say yeah, speak on that yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a caddy program so you know they, they find these high school students who are um, you know, past these requirements, you mm. know, academic requirements, mm. extracurricular, mm. Um, and then as well as they have to be good caddies, and they have to have you know been caddying for at least a, two years. Now, um, now, now, with that man, like, was um, you know, was you being pushed by your parents to be a good student, or that was just something that you was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best because I want to, you know, saying further my education as far as when I graduate high school. Yeah, I wanted I, to play football. Like I was good at football. I was, you know, fo team cap captain of the football team as a senior, mm -hmm. captain of the wrestling team as a senior. Mm -hmm. Um and I, I considered playing football or even walking on at Michigan. Yeah. Um so that was a, a thing for me at first and after I realized that damn them niggas is just too good. <laughs> I said I'm not doing it. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah. I said so. I, I said I'm gonna, you know, get more into school. Mm -hmm. And um, like I said, that's when that epiphany happened, and um, hip hop happened at the same time. For sure. And so when I listen to Nip and, mm -hmm. and listen to Fab, I think of um, Fab got a track called uh, B I T E. Mm -hmm. It stands for Bitch I'm Trying to Eat. Yeah. And it was something me and my homie, my my best friend, his name is Keontae from Jackson. He went from sure. Michigan as well with me. Yeah. Um, we came up together. And uh, we used to listen to that song, B I T E, together. <laughs> yeah. And we would get up and, you know, we would go to the library after school, after football practice. Mm -hmm. It was so, you know, my, my parents definitely believed in me and they, mm -hmm. and they you know, wanted me to do well. Yeah. But they never, like, enforced it on me. They mm -hmm. never had to because yeah. I, I realized what I was doing. And, For sure. Um, 
you know, hip hop had a lot to do with that. Yeah, you know, it was yeah. it was this motivation that I was getting, this um, realization that I have the power to change mm. uh, my life and, yeah. I have to, and to create whatever life I want. Yeah, you know? and then it, that's dope, man. Because like a lot of people, you know, saying when they come on show, or just people in general, dog, yeah. they talk about high school and they just like. They always talk about the sports aspect and stuff like yeah. that, but they never really take the academic seriously. Yeah. And, it's, I, you know, I, I wanted to hear more about Joe's story with that because yeah. I got a son that's a freshman in high school. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying, his grades always been, you know what I'm saying, tip-top, you know what I'm saying, but yeah. I had noticed like one grade slipped and I went, I went ham on him. Yeah. But that's because he's not understanding. <laughs> yeah. He's not understanding right now. He come into, you know what I'm saying, oh, I like girls now. Yeah. I like fashion now. Man, that's the thing, man. It gets so difficult. Yeah. It gets so <laughs> sticky when, when you get into high school because, like, for me... When I got into high school, it was like before high school, I, I was in, you know, obviously middle school. Yeah. And that's when the shift started changing. I started mm. seeing people go that way and that way, yep, yep, you yep. know, and like I saw people who were doing really good, like mm. start veering off, yeah, yeah. you know, and I started seeing people start smoking weed. I started mm. pe pe seeing people start having sex. Mm. I started seeing people drinking um, and, you know, doing all yeah. skipping school yeah, yeah. and um, I saw the impact of all of them decisions that people were making. I was seeing it from people who were older than me as well. I got two older sisters, so yeah, 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 they came sure. before me. So I got to learn. I got to watch and see how things go yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, before I got into that position. Mm -hmm. um, so I was fortunate to kind of avoid some of, th some of them things um, very uh, deliberately, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. because like I didn't start smoking weed until I got out of high school. Yeah, I had sure. homies who was smoking weed before the football games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, sure. was lit as fuck, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I wish. I wish I would have done that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't ready. Yeah, I knew I sure. wasn't ready. You know, I, I couldn't have hindered it. I would have yeah. I would have fucked up. I would have fell off. And a lot of people mm -hmm. get that pressure, dog, from seeing other people, man. Yeah. And so I tell my son, like, it's okay, like it's okay, like girls. I'm glad you like girls. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But it's, okay. absolutely. it's okay, like girls, but you gotta know how to balance it. You gotta know, like, yeah. man, listen, I gotta make sure my shit is right before I, you know, what I'm saying, be on the phone with your old girl. Make yeah. sure my homework done. Yeah. I'm good at practice because he hooping this year and stuff like that. Yeah. So you got you got sports life, academics, and now you liking girls. Yeah. So now when you like girls, guess what that means? You like you care about your fashion now. Yeah. So man. you gotta make sure oh everything is God. legit. Now Come he want, on, he got dressed. He want to make sure the mother's twisted every two weeks. Like, <laughs> So it's like, dog. I'm, I'm telling him it like, get complicated, yeah. man. It get real complicated. Because you, like you said, with rap and competition in New York, it's competition, dog, at school. Oh my god. Because gosh. with everything, with you know, what I'm saying, you want to be a man of the basketball team or the football team yeah. or whatever you're doing. You want to be yeah. a man if you take your grade seriously. Yeah. You want to be a man when it comes to the chicks feeling yeah. you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it, and it becomes sometimes so much that it's hard for you know young bucks to to juggle yeah. you know it's juggling all that shit don't let you start smoking some weed and get yeah. lazy you, you and definitely just, don't let you start getting a little ass you get some ass you get <laughs> some ass and some weed you're <laughs> fucked you're <laughs> fucked <laughs> you're done man <laughs> you might as well put him back in yeah, you know? so, I mean, it's, oh, I mean so. not to say that it's impossible no, but it's, it's just so powerful <laughs> those are two things that just have a young man's mind man it's just so they got to be ready and, and like Yo, definitely at the, at the very least, and, and I'm glad that, that you, you know, want to elaborate on this topic. Yeah. At the very least, um, we got to speak to to the young young boys about that, you know, yeah, and yeah. have conversations with them. Bro. Um, and don't just talk down to them. We can't just, you know, like we, we can't just tell them don't do things because we got to empathize and feel them and, yeah. and let them know that I was right there too. Sure. I Hell know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I tell and, them all the time, um, bro. I know. I know, bro. Yeah. I got to high school. I'm like, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Girls but, start getting mature. They man. said, God damn. <laughs> For sure. Shane just had that last year. Yeah. You know For what sure. I'm saying? And I told him, dog, once, I'm like, girls, women is going to be a part of your, your problem in your life forever, man. Ever. So, you know what I'm saying? That's if, that's if, if you, uh, let, if it. you let it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you let it. I was listening to this book, my, my, my big cousin, Jay. Jay Riggs, he uh he doing a bodybuilding competition, man. He dope. We'll have to check him out, man. Okay. We'd love to get him on it. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, his mind is, he's just, he about his shit. Okay. Um, but he, he just put me onto a, a book. Um, man, it's uh by Grant Hill, mm -hmm. um, who, Napoleon Hill, I think okay. it is. Napoleon Hill, um, who uh wrote the book, um, Think and Grow Rich. Mm -hmm. And he has another book. It's called uh, something about overcoming the, a conversation with the devil. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and basically, it's it's this idea that we have temptations and we have things yeah, that are pulling fast, us yeah. and making us drift is what he called it. That's like this weed. That's like yeah. you know girls and whatnot. Yeah. Um, 
and we have control over how how much we allow it to let us drift. Yeah. And once we realize that, we have to, you know, do something about you it. Get control of yeah, it. We yeah, gotta, we got to hang on to that control because yeah, you can lose sure. it real quick and easy. Yeah. And it happens to the best. Yeah, my boy said, you know? we ass. Oh, oh shit. man, it's <laughs> over. It's over. For sure. Don't let you be a saucy ass nigga too. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? Don't let you be. Because yeah. like, that's the thing. They be the sauciest niggas in high school who yep. fall all the way hell off. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, what is, like, they fall all the way yeah. off. So yeah, me and him, man, we had a good conversation, man. Like I said, I didn't go crazy. I went crazy at first. Mm-hmm. But then I died. Yeah. <laughs> But then I started talking to him like you know saying like man listen you get good grades you know how you are you know you know saying what you want to do and stuff just make sure it's right mm-hmm. and then shit a couple of days later them, that grade that was fucked up jumped right back up yeah man I might I might, I might nigga up. I might you gotta stay on course because yeah this is gonna be important years dog because like I fucked up in high school yeah I was taking it serious and once you fuck up it's hard to get that shit back yeah, right yeah man it's you know what so saying? hard anyway. it's easy to mess up bro yeah. it's hard to keep it, that shit right come on man yeah. it's so easy and like especially if you seeing your other people your other homies man. Is doing certain things you want to you know chime in with them for sure and so when you ask about high school for me it was a whole lot of navigating negotiating them decisions in yeah. my head yeah. you know um fortunately i had a good uh parent parent situation for sure both my mom and my pops were in my life and, yeah. and um talking to you on yeah, your, yeah and talking yeah. to me and, and helping me remember you know what potential i have yeah. yeah um but i was always reminding myself that too and i always had mentors and people around me yeah who, keep you know you know what I'm saying keep your mind your head right yeah. yeah and they they, they, they talking to me right and everything so for sure um i was fortunate for that you so need i don't that, take man. that you need those people in your life man for real yeah. you got too many people in your life who, who will talk to you about hanging out yeah. Getting, getting, getting chicks and stuff, yeah. but you ain't got those people that's gonna be in your life that be like, hey man, get your shit together. Yeah, you know and what I'm saying. That's, that's too bad. And yeah. we, we gotta find ways, and that's why you know I, I try to talk about that in my music. I try to you know um, incorporate that in the business that mm-hmm. that we do because yeah. um, it's so important, man. I see so many people who have so much potential. For sure, for who, sure. All they need is is some some support. Yeah. You know, somebody to talk to them the right way for so sure. they can realize, man, I'm really yeah. I'm really adult. Yeah. I got potential. Yeah, like, for I'm sure. really, I, man, there's so many people I know like that. Yeah, yeah, you know, but you yeah. can't save nobody. They got to save themselves. Yeah, for it's sure. It's just hopefully that you say something that... The right words. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that get them to realize for themselves. Facts. But you can't do it. I can't do I can't do it for nobody. Hey, hey man, I like to talk to dog. Man, we haven't got to the music shit yet. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Time. But, but uh, real quick, I want to touch on, on Michigan, man. Now, this is some old, you know, crazy thinking of my... I wanted to, Michigan was my dream school, bro. Mm. I wish I would have got good grades. I went to Michigan. Yeah. My dream was to be a point guard at Michigan, dog. Oh, man. My favorite basketball player in Michigan was Jalen Rose. Oh, yeah. You know course. what I'm saying? So I love Michigan, dog. Like, yeah. I fight, every year I get upset if they don't win the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Football and basketball, dog. Yeah. They got to be Ohio State this year, too. Come on. Supposed <laughs> when, to be state. Yeah, when, that shit oh, hurt. dog. That hell shit yeah. Hurt. <laughs> so, man, this is, this is what I feel about Michigan and Michigan State, dog. Mm-hmm. When it comes to, like, uh, White people, yeah. I feel like white supporters of Michigan is like cool way down with the with with, with the cause and shit. Mm. I always felt like white supporters of Michigan State, <laughs> I could be stupid, was racist as hell. Cause everybody, <laughs> every white person I know who support Michigan State is just the racist, racist motherfucker I ever seen in my life, man. Well, I, every I swear to God, every <laughs> white person I encounter who was a Michigan State fan, I always question if there's racist or not. Huh. But every Michigan fan that was white was like, he was like, damn, he down, like he he one of us. I swear, I, though. I wish I could say the same. Oh, I, shit. I, I can't necessarily say the same. I, I, I was at Michigan for five years. Okay. Um, and a lot of racist shit happened at Michigan. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I experienced that. And, you know, seen it, felt it, heard about it. Mm-hmm. And it ain't like it ain't what you think it is. Okay. You know? oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it is a lot of good people. Oh, and yeah, that's the sure. thing, man. Like, that's the thing about hip-hop. That's the thing about just being real, being a solid person mm-hmm. um, is... It's universal, you yeah. know. Like now, was it was it like was you experiencing like was anything like kind of like uh, envious or jealousy because they see like you said you was you, you taking these AP classes in high school mm-hmm. you coming in there scholarship right yeah so was it like was it kind of somebody who you think you are type of stuff or from like white people or from from, everybody? from white people from white people um I think that there's always been this intimidation and I think you know that's something that I have had to deal with mm-hmm. um. Since I was a young young boy For sure. making these decisions, yeah, um, it's like people don't know how to approach me. People don't know how to talk to me mm-hmm. because when I raise my hand, I sound very articulate. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, and you re- definitely gonna be intimidated by somebody because you thinking you got this perception that you know saying we don't know th- we don't yeah, know anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they don't like. I think it's just it's a discomfort um, and and an uncertainty on how to 
approach mm-hmm. and i think that's all it is but once once i sit down with anybody they realize i'm a, I'm a good person yeah. and i'm you know it ain't it, there's no reason for nobody to to have no pre mm-hmm. pre uh pre-existing notions about me mm-hmm. um but it happens but once you sit down that's the thing yeah. man you sit down and you realize love is going um it's going to bypass it's going it's going to overpower everything for sure hey, but then you know <laughs> They're already intimidated by us because we, you know, we do yeah. a lot of dope, uh, dope yeah. shit. So once you bring education into the pitch, like, damn, this, yeah. what the fuck? I got? Yeah. <laughs> they, they, yeah. they, they, they hate them. Like, no key, like, you don't say, like, God damn, this motherfucker. They ain't got the, the, some of them, most of them ain't got the sauce the way. Like, <laughs> yeah. you, so you, and, and that's it, the thing, like, that's why hip hop is what it is. And you merge that junk together, boy. Yeah, man, it's, it's scary. They like, hold on, who the fuck you think you are? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's scary, you know, but that's the thing, though, it's, we all have our things and what we good at and we got to play our so, role you know i i got some white people who really i fuck with real oh, yeah, heavy and they fuck yeah. with me real heavy Hell yeah. and white people who i would never be in the position i'm in without them yeah for sure um, for it, sure it wouldn't have happened god made those connections you know? man yeah. for real for real like that's just the way you navigate through life shout out to white people <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, shout out, hey, hey we need this podcast deal you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> what up though spotify you know what i'm saying all that good stuff yeah, man shout out my black, black people too, yeah so you did you did you, you did five years man graduated and stuff yeah. like that man yeah. i'm quite sure you know, um, you moved to New York. I'm quite sure that position was made through what you was doing in Michigan. Yeah, absolutely. So I, it, was that any like connection or like you just got it was something through Michigan like for you to leave and you know saying leave and go to uh, Mich- I mean to New York. Yeah. Um. When I got that caddy job when I was 13, mm-hmm. I met somebody out there on the golf course um, who introduced me to investment banking. Okay. Um. As a career, and he talked about mergers and acquisitions, mm-hmm. raising debt and equity to help fund transactions for some of these multi-billion dollar companies. Okay. And that was something that sparked my interest early on when I was, you know, 13, 14, 15 mm-hmm. years old. I ain't really delved too deep into it, mm-hmm. um, but I started reading books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, yeah. like The Richest Man in Babylon. I just became more and more interested in the world of finance mm-hmm. um, and in business. Mm-hmm. And um, <clears throat> from there, I started considering the idea of me going to college for business. Mm-hmm. And so I started doing these different programs. Um, I started applying for different summer programs at michigan like i said i'm I'm from jackson i went to jackson high where the average act score is a 19 you know and honestly mine wasn't too you know too much better than that i ain't Mm. even gonna cap about it you know um but i wasn't prepared um obviously um more than my my act score is um but I, i wasn't prepared in the way that um that that some of these other students are when you look at other other programs and other schools. I'm from Jackson, Michigan. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, I, I lived on Chit. I lived on Chittock. I lived on Woodson. Yeah, yeah. I lived on Hart Road. I lived on like I done lived everywhere. So yeah, many yeah. places in Jackson, <laughs> for North, sure. North. Like I didn't. But like at the end of the day, all of that has given me the ability to sit here and talk to you about for it sure. and be like and, and to like not and you don't feel no type of uppity about me you know what i'm saying because because i'm straight up like it's all grind that it's all hustle that 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 Mm -hmm. has got me here um and so like it's it's definitely been a process um since i was young and i've been making a lot of sacrifices since then but i tapped in got into michigan um you know after a long process man after years of of working on it yeah, 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 um yeah. and then g- got into michigan some people believed in me mm. um got into this investment club mm. at michigan i was the only black person of 60 people Damn, in dope. there mm. um and it was uncomfortable a lot of times oh, yeah, for sure. I, bet, I, I, I bet. was a rapper and they knew that i rapped yeah um, so you got and, that little already you know, yeah got it was they, like you know like, you. it was like i wanted to talk about finance but they want to talk about rap and then yeah. they, you know they want to but I'm in here with this for this meeting that's an hour yeah. or for two hours, whatever how long it is. I want to talk about finance right yeah, now for because sure. that's what I'm that's here what I'm for. That's what I'm here for, yeah. Yeah, I came here for business. Yeah. You know, I ain't really talk about, I ain't really here to talk about that. We can talk about that. You come to my show. Yeah, you know for sure, saying? yeah. Pull for up. support, yeah, afterwards, yeah. <laughs> Pull up. Because <laughs> we going to be lit there too. Um, <laughs> for sure. But, um, like, yeah, so, like, it's I've had to deal with things like that yeah. um, in this process, but ultimately I'm fit for the job and oh, I'm yeah, the one to sure. do the job. You know, so we here. Yeah, man. Hey, man. I'll make sure uh, my son watch this interview, dog. Yeah, for sure. Like, <laughs> for sure. Cause yeah, Absolutely. for sure. Cause he he always talk about Michigan and stuff like that. Like, yeah, he can do I it. think that's been his dream school because of me. Cause mm-hmm. like I'm a Michigan head, bro. I, it's it's two teams that that I'm upset if they lose, bro. The yeah. Lakers and Michigan. Come on, man. like those my two squads. Yeah, like I'm hurt, bro. Two legendary just programs, organizations, yeah. like. 
you, you you can't never miss Michigan. Yeah, you for know, sure. You go to the airport, you're gonna see Michigan. Hell yeah, you go, yeah. I was in Germany, man. I studied German as a minor at Michigan. Okay. And I was out there, um, <clears throat> and they were selling Michigan apparel <laughs> in this small town called Bochum, Germany. Okay. And that's where my homies stay. And I stayed with him, and they was out there selling Michigan gear yeah. at the mall. And it's like, what damn, the fuck? Like, yeah, I go I'm, here. Yeah, for you know? sure. I'm like, damn, I go to this school. Yeah. You know, so that's the thing. That's why it's 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 something you just can't miss. Yeah, for it's, sure. It's everywhere. Now, let's finally get to your rap stuff, man. Yeah. man <laughs> so we've been we rapping. Just, for sure. <laughs> we've been rapping, man. I appreciate the conversation, yeah. bro, because a lot nah, of times. this is good, man. Yeah. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, because like I said, man, of course, you, you know, you make dope music, and, and that's what you're here for. But Thank it's you. always good to get more than just music, man, because you never know who. Who might watch this and might catch something like damn yeah. bro you know what I'm saying doing his thing with the music but yeah. shit, he also was doing his thing in michigan he also doing his thing with the finances like you said you know what i'm yeah, saying man. i also got a lot of people i got angels man dead and alive who oh yeah who, who i would not be here without they right here with me right now fast man you know? now you say you uh when you had that um that vision 13 mm -hmm. man music was a part of that mm -hmm. so like what that, that, music wasn't at that wasn't? point, not yet. No. Nope. Okay, so when did music become something that you wanted to pursue? Like, like damn, I, 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 I've been listening to music, but now I want to, you know, I want to become a part of it. I want to be a rapper, man. When I got really kind of bit by the bug, it was when I got introduced to pop. Okay. And that was like when I was 15, 16. Okay. And from there, I was like, man, man, I got even more into hip hop. Mm -hmm. So I started listening to Outkast. Okay. And Outkast. Yeah kind of introduced me to just being an artist a musician period yeah. and so i got heavy into andre 3000 mm -hmm. um and andre 3000 plays guitar mm -hmm. so damn i started picking up i picked up a guitar i went to the pawn shop and picked yeah. up me, me a guitar for sure and um and i started playing and it was a, it's been a long process a yeah, long yeah, journey yeah. i'm still learning yeah, yeah, but um <clears throat> Like that put me into this thing where I'm like, damn, music is my, I love music. For sure. You know, music is, I'm, I'm the only boy in my family, so, um, and I'm the only, only son, son mm. one. Yeah. Um, and um, I, I realized that music is a place where I feel peace. Mm. Yeah, you know, for I sure. had three sisters and it, it's <laughs> growing, growing up with three <laughs> sisters as the only boy, man, yeah. sometimes that shit can get hard. Yeah, where it's for sure, like, I bet. Yeah. You know, ain't nobody understanding me and being in the house with you know, your pops ain't yeah, in so the your house mom too. And your three, yeah. Mom and three sisters and they all think I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <for> sure, yeah. <laughs> what yeah. I'm supposed to do? Call yeah. my pops and he like, I don't know what to do. I can't hear you. I know you right, bro, but I, yeah. I can't help Help you. Yeah, for sure, for um, sure. So music was like a place where I, I, I was able to get, you know, get away and, and mm. to and to express those emotions and express those feelings and, and also hear stories of other people who have similar emotions yeah. and similar stories. For know? sure, man. Now your sound, bro, you know, yeah. I'm used to you know, I'm quite sure you listen to Detroit rap and mm -hmm. stuff like mm -hmm. you know, we got Detroit rappers got their own unique sound. Yeah. Flint got their own unique sound, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you from Jackson, man. I don't know too many Jackson rappers and stuff, but yeah. who influenced your sound? Because when I listen to to your music, man, um, I get like that 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 nineties boom back type mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying New York type of type of sound. So who was it anybody that influenced your sound as far as like personal or just like that's just how it came? Man, first we got we got so many great acts in uh, in Jackson. Oh yeah, um, I'm I'm working on a documentary right now. It's called Jackson, Michigan's. Hold Finest. on, man. Hold on, man. Yeah, this dude doing a lot of stuff, though. Yeah. <laughs> Trust for sure, though, no, that's man, dope, though. No, no, I applaud you, dog. Tired as fuck too, I'm man. <laughs> <laughs> I applaud you, dog. I ain't slept, I ain't, bro. Last night I was in the studio. I was in the studio from 10 p.m. with my homie man. Scotty P. From 10 p.m. to um to seven this morning. I man. missed my flight and I had to cop another flight this morning. Delta. Man. I was flying Spirit. Fucking horrible. <laughs> but anyway, I, I had to cop a Delta flight, yeah. um, which was it hurt my stomach to pay that shit. But I'm like, <laughs> I gotta get to this interview man. for sure, for sure, like, man. You know, so. Hey, man, that, no, that's dope, man. I, I yeah. applaud you, bro. And I, you know, what I'm saying I like that you're doing a lot of stuff, man. Yeah. You tapping into a lot. So you say it's a lot. Of, you got a lot of dope artists in Jackson. Yeah, it's a lot of dope artists in Jackson, man. Who um, I personally have been inspired by. I'm doing music, working on uh, music with them. Mm. Um, but as far as you know, <clears throat> you saying who your are my influence, inspirations? Sound, yeah. um, I would definitely say, boom, '90s boom bap is yeah. definitely. Um, was was what bit me mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying what what made me want to be a hip-hop um historian yeah yeah, you know? yeah for sure and i'm not a historian yet but i'm in you know an, yeah, an, an, an aspiring yeah. historian I, I look forward to learning more and more about hip-hop mm -hmm. and in the 90s boom bap era was the one that kind of put me in that um 
in that frame of mind. Mm-hmm. But from there, man, I, I got exposed to other things because in 90s Boom Bap, they sampled the se- music sure. from the 70s. Yeah, yeah. They sampled music from the 60s. They, you know, they sampled shit from way back before then. Yeah, and yeah. I want to do shit like that mm-hmm. because that them people will never die because of that. Yeah, for sure. You it's going to always live. Yeah, like yeah. their music is always going to be around because somebody sampled it because, you know, somebody's bigging up something that's dope over yeah. there. Yeah, you yeah. know, and that's, I'm all about that. So, um, I, I from from that from the lineage of hip hop, mm. um, I've been able to branch off and explore all these other different kinds of music. I love blues music. Mm. Um, I, I work on blues music. I work on like R and B music. Mm. Um, and but hip hop is what you know people know me as right now. Um, they, they they you know put me in this '90s boom bap uh, kind of genre, f- but yeah. box but. Um, that's just a piece of you. That's just the part. Yeah. That's just the part, and yeah. and I love it, and, and I don't have no problem with it. And if that's what people remember me as, then I have like I, yeah. I, I fucking appreciate it, you know, because sure. it's a it was a wonderful thing. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But I love everything, man. I love soul music, anything that feel good. Yeah. That's why I fuck with Playboy Cardi, and I fuck with Trippy Red, cause yeah. that shit's still hard as fuck to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I listen sure. to that, and you know. In the morning, when I gotta go to work at at nine in the morning, get you your know, shit, like, yeah, get that you shit, ready. like I'm get lit, you, you know, <laughs> I'm sure. gone, I'm yeah. gonna hit the subway, I'm straight, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and that's how hip hop has always been for me, yeah, for sure. you know, ever since I got you know bit by the bug back in, the, you know, when I back when I heard that notorious B.I.G. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, uh, greatest hits mixtape yeah, yeah, yeah. with my pops in the car, so like I, I love music that make you feel something yeah you, you know? do it once you got that music you're like damn like, yeah, you know what i'm saying you yeah. this this shit dope like yeah you know what I'm saying? i love listening to cd and i'll be like damn i play this shit over and over yeah over. man because dog speaking of nip yeah i remember that crenshaw album bro yeah come on i was living in texas man and yeah. every goddamn day i yeah. played that cd yes, dog. yes. every day Slauson, you ever listen to Slauson boy uh i went back and listened to Slauson, it Slauson, girl you got man, like Slauson boy yeah <sighs> That's I don't think people know about that enough. Yeah. But I think same with Crenshaw. A lot of people don't know about Crenshaw, and I personally haven't delved into Crenshaw as much as I would like yeah, to. Yeah, that was my shit, dog. You know, it was Mailbox Money that bit me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mailbox, Mailbox that Money. Was cold. That, that was, was cold. like fuck. I gotta fuck with Nick <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. forever. Cause dog, I'm like, who the hell? Yeah. Dude, is this dude selling hundred dollar CDs, bro? And then once you got the people just was. So gun ho and like, all right, it costs a hundred. I was like, but not knowing what came with it, you know, what I'm saying merch. Uh, you got the first, you know, what I'm saying basically you you get first dibs on buying tickets to the show. Yeah, so man. it's more than just a hundred CD. You basically a part of his, you know, what I'm saying his organization, yeah, his, his crew that's and shit. So special, man. Yeah, he did man. Something different, man. Now, now something. with you, bro, when you we you we tapped in, I had sent you a link to the podcast. You mm-hmm. responded, and said you wanted to come on. Mm-hmm. I went back and I'm like, let me listen to, let me listen to dog music, man. Make sure he's straight. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, 90s Baby Part 2. I know yeah. Part 1, I listened to that. That was on uh, SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I wanted to tap in on Part 2 because that's your most recent project. Yeah. So, uh, I do this thing called Top 3 off of, it depends on how long the project is. I do yeah. Top 3 or Top 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, give me your Top 3 off of 90s Baby Part 2. I'll give you mine's. Mm-hmm. Mine's is uh, Watch Them Niggas, mm-hmm. uh, Find the Light, mm-hmm. and uh, Believe in God. Mm, mm. Give me your uh That sounds about right. My big homie, that's those are about his favorites too. He yeah. um he yeah, that my, one of my big homies, he'd say the same thing. Okay. Um but I would say um Bury Me a G. Man, I love Bury Me a G. Oh yeah, cause like you did two beats, bro, that I'm yeah. like, nigga, you gotta come correct. Yeah, that was at Bury Me a G. Yeah, all of them, all of them. And then watch them niggas, those two all of them, all of them is like me, like yeah. stretching. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. and and there's some people who are against ever breathing on someone else like especially a legendary track and yeah. i feel that and i understand it and i see where people coming from but i ain't scared you know yeah, what I'm, sure. I'm right yeah. here what's up let's get yeah, it. Yeah. what the fuck is up nigga? no for sure you, you know, did your and thing. i love these niggas though yeah. that's that's why i want to rap on it because yeah. this music make me feel something yeah, yeah. i don't want to rap on something that i don't feel yeah because they ain't gonna come out yeah. i love this shit that's why i can rap on it that's why i can express myself yeah, for sure because it, it made me think of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Fast. So, so you said "Bury Me a G" would be on your top. Bury three. Me a G. Um, find the light part two, mm-hmm. and um, I would say probably a tie between "Stay" and uh, and "Pressure" or "Lemon Pepper Freestyle." Okay. Kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, I, I mean, I fuck with it. No, for I, sure. I, did my, I worked, man. I put no. a lot of time in. I was uh, in training all summer this mm-hmm. this past summer for this job. I just graduated and you know so 
student, right after graduation, I had training. You went right to work, yeah. Right yeah. to training, and then training to full time in New York. So I like had all summer. I was I was stuck in my literally stuck in my mom's uh, in my mom's house, my yeah. sister's old room. Yeah. I came back after moving from Ann Arbor back to Jackson. I yeah. was in Jackson all summer, and um, <clears throat> when I wasn't right. working on this training at yeah. nighttime, I would go to the studio or yeah. I'd be working. I'd be writing. Um, I'll be recording in my room, yeah. um, and you know I put a lot of time, a lot of work into that shit. Uh, fast, it's dope. It's dope. I was it's pulling dope. up to nine mi nine miles working at uh, uh, Mix Factory One. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. That's by my crib. Yeah, that's yeah, was, that's by the crib. Driving from Jackson back and forth. Damn, yeah, so this is a dedicated dude yeah, right here, I'm dog. Cause that's a I bet you that's a hike, dog. Yeah, bro. That's what's up, bro. Like I hope a lot Gas of motherfuckers. and everything, man. My fucking pockets. Is tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn, man. Man, you know studio sessions is like dog. Yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. So you gotta come correct. You gotta be right, dog. You gotta be right, man. I hope a lot of motherfuckers tap into this, this interview, man, because mm -hmm. there's a lot of gems you passing off mm -hmm. and shit. Just I, from my vibe from you is like, nigga, and that's shit. We can go right to it. I got mm -hmm. this thing called talk about the bars. Yeah, I take a line or whatever from your uh, from one of your songs and we mm -hmm. talk about it. Mm -hmm. And you doing that? Well, mm -hmm. I was just about to say mm -hmm. you got one line on uh, watch them niggas. You say uh, I don't want a slice of the pie. I want a big bite. And with mm -hmm. me, that's basically saying like. Nigga, don't settle for a position. Don't settle for a Come role. On, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't settle for a role. Don't give nigga. me no slice. Yeah. I want a big bite of that shit. <laughs> give me that shit. <laughs> Fuck these niggas talking about. Cause I, you know what? I walk down the street in New York, and it's fucking money, man. Yeah, people just sure. making stupid money yeah. every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It's people who've been doing my job and working in my career for as long as I've been alive. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, <laughs> man! For, for, for and sure. it's like it's friends of groups of them yeah. who invest with each other, yeah. who know exactly what the fuck is going on. Yeah, for sure. Why would I want a slice of this shit? Yeah, I want more. Of that I shit. want a big bite of yeah, this shit. For sure. And it's like niggas, like you can take that line and just that's like working at a job, bro. When you just satisfied with that with that position. Oh man, like, whatever. Wage, I mean, my, me and my I'm pops here. was just talking about that wage slaves. Yeah, I'm a wage sure. slave right now. Yeah. I'm a wage slave, you know, but I'm a wage slave. Being a wage slave is allowing me to fund my dreams and my visions, mm -hmm. you know, in, in this music. I wouldn't be able to have gone to the studio back and forth and pay yeah. for all these studio sessions without my job. For sure. You know, for sure. But I'm fuck it. I'm a, I'm a wage slave right now, but that's the whole point is to is to break myself free of it. Yeah, because some people will take that line you say and be like, all right, that, you know, but you got really. Take a, a deep dive into it and know, like, all right, nigga, like, a lot, a lot of motherfuckers is selling for a piece of the pie. Yeah, a lot of people, a piece of pie could be a, a relationship. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, damn, yeah. you just selling for this shit. But what can y'all do together as a whole and build this bitch and make Absolutely. it? You know what I'm saying? That big ass bite. Remember, let me eat that whole bitch. Like, you know what I'm thinking about on uh, 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 on on life. When that nigga went yeah, running for that yeah, pie, nigga, on, that's how you got to be with life, dog. Absolutely. absolutely. I'm going to get shot for this bitch. Like. Absolutely, man. But, but the thing is, a lot of people just haven't been exposed to what's really out there. Yeah. And, and when we get exposed to things, when we start exposing, that's what this music is about for me, too, is, mm. is exposing people in a way that's hopefully digestible, hopefully relatable. Mm. Hopefully you, you, you realize that it ain't straight up street, raw, like grimy shit. For sure. But it ain't, it ain't straight up just conscious rap. Yeah, yeah, I'm still yeah, yeah. a nigga very yeah, much. So, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It ain't straight up. It ain't no Christian rap. I'm yeah. still, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still from the Dirty Jack. You yeah, know? for sure. Um, yeah. And I'm born and raised. And, um, like, I, 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 that's that's what I hope with this music is to show people that it's, it's, it's man, there's so many possibilities out here. It's so mm -hmm. much optionality for what we can create with our lives. No, for sure, for sure. Then, on um, another song, man. Mm -hmm. I uh, hope I don't mess up none of these bars and stuff either. No, you straight, man. Uh, you got on um, finding um, on finding a light part two. Mm -hmm. You got a part you said I've been I've been dealing with depression. I've been I've been going through some shit. Five blunts in the circle, politicking with the click, and we know we so legit. Cop a crib just to flip. Try and cop a meal ticket, shorty riding on the tip. Yeah, Fight yeah. light and miss the shit. Struggle, but I never quit, nigga. Nigga, we go there. I guess I'm over. So with that, with the, with that depression, dog, like going through that shit, was it because you dealing with so much shit? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? You got everything Bro. that you tying in. Sometimes, even though you could be on the right. On the right, it looked like niggas yeah. is straight up good, you for know? Sure, but, but no, I got bills, bro. Yeah, I got sure. bills, and I got 
a girl who want to talk, who want to talk to me all day. I got my mom who want to see me. I yeah. got my pops who I love. I want to yeah. smoke a blunt with. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got, um, damn, I'm out here. I'm chatting. We, we <laughs> ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how it is. But, like, it, it's so, but I got this job that's no, for calling sure. me it's so much I shit. got music the studio scammed me yeah. you know what I'm saying charging me way more than what the fuck they was supposed to be charging me yeah, yeah. like f for the set like it's yeah, I sure. got resp I'm the only boy yeah, you know so what I'm saying I'm on a, your I, ain't, I'm, I got last name it's yeah. on me no no no, it ain't no other boy hey, with my I'm last glad, name. You know nigga, hold on, man. I'm glad you said that shit, dog. Niggas don't understand the importance of a last name, man, yeah. and to build that shit up, bro. Yeah. My dad's side of family ain't too many of us, so that means yeah. that whoever got this last name, it's going to be some importance about it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You got to yeah. take care of that shit. You can't take that lightly. And shout out to my big brother. He told me that shit, dog, because my granddad was a was a stand-up dude. Yeah. So he's like, dog, we got to continue his last name and make sure we motherfucking push this bitch as far as absolutely. we can. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's something we can't never forget. That's what we. That's all we got is... This ain't got me want to go to the gym or something. I'm going to work out, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm motivated, yeah, nigga. Man, like, bro. Like, <laughs> man, I got so much fucking energy in me, man, because like I said, I got angels, man. This yeah. people, my one of my, my homies, I want to shout out him, bless him, man. And I guess if I get him flowers, he gone now. But Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, he I passed peed. away yeah. when, we was, um, when we was in high school. Yeah, a poem to my friend. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. I'll, yeah. I'll tap in, though. He's a different one. He a poem to my friend is another oh, one. Oh, okay, okay. That's okay. another one who passed away while I was in I was away in New York on yeah. the internship. But my other homie, Maceo, passed mm. away um, when I was in high school. Yeah. And it was just devastating to all of us because he was sure. like just a good kid. Yeah. Everybody fucked with him. Um, yeah, rest you know, in peace, man. smile. Everybody just loved him. He was one of my best friends mm. um, when we was since fourth grade, you know. Mm. Um, but, like, I got so much energy inside of me because of people like him. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm pulling to my friend, the third is, is my homie's name. He's, he's an Indian kid, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We became best friends when I was at Michigan Ross. Mm -hmm. And he was a person who I felt so comfortable to just be myself with. For sure. Um, he was an artist as well. So we got to connect on that front while mm -hmm. being in the business school. Um, and we did projects together. He was a videographer, a yeah, photographer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I peeped. I and, seen um, that. Yeah, yeah, Just dope, man. And, yeah, um, man. Shout out to he, them. He passed away on some just crazy shit. Sick. He got sick, man. Yeah. 20, 20 years old. Man. Um, and, you know, that impacted me, but he lived through me. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah, and for Nick sure. lived through me. Uh, all these people, yeah, man, yeah. I got angels, yo. Oh, like, yeah. Rest in peace to all them. Yeah, you got to keep it moving, man, yeah. for real. Now, like I said, Watch the Niggas is one of my favorite songs on there, man, because yeah. you talking some shit, dog. Yeah. And you say, uh, they're going to try to bring me down when I come around. Kings never flourish in the midst of clowns. Well, that shit, like... <laughs> Bro, I just, first of all, thank you for catching that fucking bar. I, no, some sure. people have talked to me about that bar. They thought I said clouds. Oh, no. Kings never flourish in the midst of clouds. Yeah, because that's the thing. That's the thing. You, and you got to watch what... That, that tell me you got to watch where you where, where you be Yeah. At. You know what I'm saying? Because you being a king, you can't even look like a king if you or, if you around some clown-ass niggas. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, Come on, of course, man. And then you can look at it. It's easy being king when you with some, some dumbass niggas. Yeah, man. You that too, saying? man. You never flourish, though. Yeah, for you're sure. Never no, gonna you're not. flourish, man. No. And, and, but, it, and, and that's the thing. It's a fine line because we can't, we can't be so um, kingly that we don't know how to interact with people who ain't mm -hmm. um, on the same level. No, for and sure. chess is pawns. Yeah. And pawns are very important. You need them. You need, yeah. you need pawns. You need the bishop. You need the knight. You, need, sure. you know, you need, you need all of your pieces. You like, and at the end of the, the queen is the mo most powerful piece on the damn, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and we got to recognize that. So it's a fine line between, um, you know, being around people who going to bring you up because they are kings as well mm -hmm. but also being able to interact and to, and to negotiate and to work with people who have roles to play in the grand scheme of whatever this plan is yeah. and you see know. that's why I knew with when I went to listen to your music I'm like dog I know this is going to be a dope conversation yeah. I can tell through the music yeah. that would be a dope conversation because yeah, what you was it. talking about in your songs yeah appreciate it you know what I'm saying because like I said I like when I have somebody on there just to really listen to the songs and listen to the music dog and that. really feel what they talking about yeah you know what I'm sure. saying so I'm at work like damn, damn, this, this, this damn nigga thank you talk some shit dog thank you. that's 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 all I want, man. I want to no, make music sure. that people feel and that people can relate to, mm -hmm. and that's why I write it, man. Mm -hmm. Cause 
you know, hopefully this this interview does, you know, reach for somebody. Sure. No, for sure. We got yeah. to. I don't give a fuck if it's one to ten. Like, yeah, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's, that's what those yeah. interviews that and, I watch do. And it's going to be here forever. Yeah, so, exactly. So, you know, once you blow up, once this blow up, like, niggas always go back. Like, damn, he was on that one fucking podcast. man. I study interviews. Like, I watch... Man, one of my favorite guitarists, a blues guitarist, his name is Stevie Ray Vaughan. We, he and I share the same birthday. Okay. Um, like, and he died a fatal, just tragic accident, a helicopter accident. Mm. But um, watching his interviews, he lived through me because I'm studying him as For a sure. person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I study what made him tick, what yeah. what made him great like that. Yeah, for sure. You know, what, what, was, what was it, you yeah. know? Cause some things, some people is just like, whoa, what yeah. was it, man? Yeah, yeah for that sure, yeah. It's cold as fuck. Yeah, no, for sure, for like, sure. Yeah. I need to see what he talked like. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, for sure. Like, damn. And the last thing on this, on that, on that, watch them niggas, dog. You said, yeah. dog, that nigga it was hard. You said, um, shake your hand, pick your pockets, plotting just to take some niggas. Ready to look, look at, at your plate, plate then go and make some. <laughs> Niggas are fucking. How you mad? I got a bag and got up off my ass and left the jealousy and envy in the bottom of the trash. Man, niggas going in, dog. That whole song, nigga. And niggas will rather take it from you than go ahead. Hey, man, can you put me on game? Come on, man. Hey, man, how you what? get to? How you do this shit, bro? Like, how you get there? Like, like, come on. And that's the thing. We gotta be a like. We gotta show people that it's a it's a value in the process. Yeah. You know. I can't give nothing to you. I'm still trying to get it for myself. For sure, for sure. You know, I'm still working on building my own little situation. And that's the thing. So many people don't realize that, no. like, it's a process to get yeah. this shit. You and know, so, and the, that's the show right there. Like, niggas, niggas are going to take from your shit and show love, ask questions. Because mm -hmm. guess what? I, the typical dude, if I feel like I ask you some questions, I yeah. feel like, damn, this nigga... I don't want to learn nothing from this nigga. Yeah. I don't want him to have the one up on me and tell me that, oh yeah, if it was for me, this, yeah. that, the third. But that's sometimes dumb as dumb as um dumb as to me, they'll make they'll make the strong niggas. Them not yeah, them not sure. the, they not the them ones yeah. They ain't got it. Ain't Cause got no, it. just you know cause I'm saying? like anybody who really got it, yeah. they know how to humble themselves. No, for sure. It ain't, ain't no age. Ain't yeah. no age shit either, though. Matter. Like I learned shit from I'm quite sure you younger than me. I can get game from you, bro. Like, bro, whatever. Like, you Absolutely. know what I'm saying? And, and vice versa. versa. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's never... Some niggas got too much pride, bro. And sometimes yeah. you got to put that to the side. Yeah. Just to, you know what I'm saying? We to always got to put off. that to the side when it's when it's something behind it, when it's value behind yeah. it. Hell you yeah. know, we got to be able to have the instincts to, to recognize the value behind it. For me, I've been able to build that yeah. um, instinct over time from... Being a young young boy and learning, like, damn, I sit and have a conversation with th with them. Yeah. This done let me here. Yeah, for sure, you know, for sure. Just having a conversation with them let me there. Yep. Damn, now I'm here. Like, <laughs> Yo, I'm a yeah. fucking. I just graduated from that bit. Yo, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. Damn, I'm in New York now. You no, know, for it's sure. like not to fucking toot my own horn, but like I'm from Jackson, nigga. Yeah, fuck for Fuck is sure. niggas talking about? Hell yeah, nigga, for sure, fast, like, nigga. What? Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? hell yeah, and I can tell nigga, this, he, he a passionate dude about what's your shit, cause Come that's on, bro. that right there I, I, alone bro, gonna make like, you go hot as far as you want. I pray to God every night, man. I'm a praying man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Every night I'm praying. I'm I'm working towards this, and I've been a praying man since I was a kid. For sure, you know, and I'm not perfect. Oh yeah, you know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm still a man. I mm. still make mistakes. I still fuck up. Yeah. But I'm a praying man, and and at the end of the day, man, all of this shit has been a process, and I've been very deliberate about it. Mm -hmm. I wrote a letter to myself when I was a freshman in high school. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if y'all did them things in high school. But oh yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah, you write a letter to yourself, yeah. lock it away. Yeah, tell you like your senior year or something. Senior yeah. Yeah. Man, I looked at it, man, and, and I did everything I said I was gonna do. Yeah, for sure. You know, man, that should be hard to do. That's like you know, it's what I'm saying hard. it's about to be a top of the year. We all got those goals and stuff, and sometimes you look back like, damn, I didn't do not one fucking thing I said. And it happens. I yeah. mean, I'm, I, I see that every day. I see that. That's one one thing that I experienced um, last year. Um, it is I put so much pressure on myself to accomplish all these goals. In this past year, because it's like, look at all this time I have sitting yeah, in the house sure. you know, with COVID and whatnot, and I was beating myself up inside, you know, internally without even recognizing it, mm -hmm. and it it created a literal um, physical pressure on my head. Mm -hmm. Like I ended up going to the hospital because I was so hard on myself. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And that's something we got to talk about too, um, just as a people it is, and especially as we re related to pressure and mm. being a black man being a man mm. um being the man of the house being whatever um is we got to recognize that we got to still show love to ourselves sure. and still give ourselves grace yeah, um, yeah in for the sure. midst of being ambitious and, and, and having a lust for 
um, you know, for success. Yeah, yeah, because once, like I said, when you go so hard, sometimes it could be like the lowest thing can throw everything off. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because damn, I, this shit didn't go right. That didn't go right. Nah, it's throwing everything out of whack. You can't let that happen because it's gonna happen. Like shit gonna not go the way you wanted it to. For sure, man. But, now the last line we gonna talk mm -hmm, about, man, on mm -hmm. uh, on fourth and back. Mm -hmm. uh, is it fourth and back, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Is uh, tell me that she loved me. She ain't seeking no replacement. But I be dodging love because it often end with hatred. Yeah, man. Is that like like is that because you see like other relationships and you be kind of sometimes you be like damn like ain't, ain't nothing ended right you know what i'm saying like so it can kind of make you be afraid to fall in love with somebody all of that definitely yeah. like from an external perspective looking at other people's relationship mm -hmm. but also as an internal you know looking at my own past you mm -hmm. know um and just doing the calculations, it's like, hmm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for it's sure. Like, hell yeah. Hmm, shit don't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit is weird. Yeah, shit. hell so yeah. It's like, um, that's one thing I think a lot of men, especially black men, struggle with is, is trusting um, love. Trusting yeah. um, a, a, a woman um, to give all of this what I'm doing. Yeah. When I tr and trust my woman with... Mm -hmm. When I entrust her, I'm entrusting her with this company. Yeah, I'm entrusting everything. her with this music shit. Yep. I'm entrusting her with my money. Yeah. I'm entrusting her with my time. Yep. Like, damn, that's a lot. Yeah, for sure. You know, and I ain't seen that work out too much. Yeah, yeah, no, so, it don't. So uh, it's like, sadly to say, a lot of times it don't. Like I said, it do end with hatred, like yeah. or, or regret. They end up, you know, yeah. they end up damn near making a nigga go bankrupt. Yeah, for you sure. know what I'm saying it's for women sure. who uh, turn a nigga all the way out. No, nah, for sure. You know, and it's like. Fuck, you know and, like I said, as a little one, as a young, well, a young one, I never thought about no marriage. Like niggas talking about yeah. marriage, like man, hell no. <laughs> are you crazy, nigga? But then, like, hey. once I, <laughs> cause motherfuckers, we think about kids before we think about marriage. Absolutely, you know yes. what I'm saying? And I did have a kid early on when I was like 19. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yeah. But then when I found my wife, now I was like, damn, like I can't lose this motherfucker. This is why, yeah, I, like, yeah. the division I had. For a wife was like she she fit the description perfectly. Yeah, man. Like she wasn't like one of those girls who hang out in the clubs and yeah. do all this extra shit. Like that's she, beautiful. So I'm like fuck it. Like why well, my bullshit? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and that's 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 the thing. I be dodging her love because it often ends with hatred. Often is the yeah, word. Yeah, it often for sure. does, but it don't always. And yeah, that's yeah. the thing we Sometimes, gotta be considerate yeah. of too. Is that man? If 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 it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is what one of my cousins told me. Mm -hmm. um, shout out a sign. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know that's what he told me about relationships. If if you got somebody who ride with you and fuck with you, mm -hmm. and you know they your number one fan, but they gotta be your number one fan because there's too many other girls out here who want to be the number one fan. So if you go, you, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. She yeah, gotta yeah. be the number one fan. Yeah. You know. So um, like, but if she is and she really riding and she really bought it, yeah. Man, you gotta consider that because yeah, yeah. you go back out here, man. These bitches don't give a fuck about <laughs> no. Nigga. For sure. Don't care about for sure. Once nigga. you find that right one, that's that one in the million, man. Yeah, you man. hit the lottery. Yeah. Go it's hard though. Yeah, when, no. when, when you got the sauce too. Yeah, though, when you sure. really, when you really that nigga, it's hard to sit, settle down. No, nah, it is. You know, it's hard to do. Yeah, because you, you start know? loving like, damn, I got. Why self? You know what I'm saying? It's like damn. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> at sure. the same time, it's like man, how productive could I be if I if you yeah. here just and if you hear a lot of people like I remember listening to Charlamagne because that's somebody I really fuck with as far as like what he doing because he doing Absolutely. so much man. Dope, and he said man. once he finally settled down, stopped bullshitting and got married and stopped you know saying playing games he was with his wife. He said niggas his his career just took off. Wow. Because he was cheating, doing this, that, and the third line yeah. to his, his his lady. Yeah. And once he just said I'm gonna change him. And admit to what I did and get married, like he said, his life just took off, though. Wow, that's a beautiful story. You know what I'm saying? That's so, a beautiful story. And like I said, and that's only with the right one. Yeah, because exactly. you can. <laughs> and that's the thing. It's like it's 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 such a it's a tough yeah. calculation. Like you, you gotta, gotta like, damn, like <laughs> damn, this is gonna be <laughs> you gotta really ponder on like because some girls be tricking, man. They don't have your ass thinking some shit is sweet, but it ain't nothing like that. No, and, man. And then it's they put you get now on like, a wasted all this time, all this money buying you this, yeah. doing all that, and here man. here you go, man. you ain't even. Yeah, man. And I got my homie, man. My part, my it's my it's my family. It's my wife, cousin. So he my cousin. Like, yeah. He be going through it. I be feeling bad because he a good dude, bro. Yeah. But he be like the wrong situations, yeah. Yep. Like, damn. Like, it's sad. This nigga yeah. just getting played. And out it's here. like I like this my dog, bro. Like yeah. I love dog. And I'm like, man. I hope he find that one because yep. you know you got some dudes. Like you said with the sauce, who like man get yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like on some Tupac shit. Yeah, yeah. Then you got some people who just really want that family type life, but ain't find that right one. It's sad, man. I know, I know about that too, man. Yeah, I'm, man. I, for it's sure. sad to see. It is. Hell yeah. But now, I be telling them like, nigga, <laughs> you gotta do something, but you yeah. can't be getting played out here, bro. No, don't don't be looking like a sucker, bro. Out here. Don't I tell that. my son though all the time I put him on game. Yeah. I tell him I say whatever you do, bro. 
don't ever like a sucker. Yeah. Don't hell, ever. <laughs> don't ever be a sucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever be one. Don't let don't let that shit happen because you're not one. No, for sure. You, know, you ain't yeah. gotta be one. No, hell no. You know, like shit. the thing is, a lot of women and they know this deep down is that it's less good guys out here. Yeah. Proportionally speaking, than it's good girls. It's a lot of good girls out here who yeah. would do every do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For for a good man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who would. Change their whole life path for a good yeah, man. Yeah, for you know sure what I'm facts. saying? But it ain't that many men out here yeah. who really bout it, who yeah. really solid, who really stand up men, who yeah, yeah. um want, who are looking to take care of a family, who are looking to build mm -hmm. and, and um you know create something bigger than themselves. It ain't yeah. that many out here like that. Nah, man, we been like I said, we've been chopping like a motherfucking yeah, dog. Good, good, good shit. Good man, shit. It's crazy. My first time, dog. Peeping you, bro, was on uh, Kid L podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, on his review shit, and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? He clowned a lot of people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man. He was on this show and stuff. Uh, yeah. I was supposed to be on his show, but I ain't gonna say nothing about it. But, uh, yeah. you know? <laughs> I was too. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I'm posted still, but I, I was supposed to set it up um, yeah. over this time. But, yeah. You know, we'll see. Yeah, it's okay, man. You're the, yeah, one of the best exactly. podcasts. Yeah. <laughs> but no, um, I saw you on his show, bro, and I'm like, I, I I listen to uh, different artists that be on there. And I kind of like you know I I send my 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 podcast to them and see if they want to fuck with it. Mm -hmm. I'm like damn, that my dog dog cold. Yeah, appreciate so it. So like like how did you hear about his platform? Was you like kind of nervous because he he do clown with a lot of yeah. artists? Like was there anything? But you just or you had like confidence? Like I know my shit straight, so I ain't worried about it. One, I knew my shit was straight. But two, um, I got a big homie. His name is Dre Scone. You might know Dre Scone. I heard the name. Dre Scone. Yeah, uh, yeah, I heard the name for Detroit, sure. You know. Um, just a, a dope artist. Mm -hmm. um, he worked with a lot of other dope artists mm -hmm. in Detroit, um, and just blessed me on one of my tracks. He he, he did uh, the track uh, uh, "Self Made Man." Oh yeah. He did the vocals on on, on my uh, mixtape for that song. Yeah. And um, he he did a uh, he did a review with him with, yeah. with KL. Yeah. Um, and I saw that review and I'm like, man, I'm, I should start trying to tap in with other you know yeah, yeah, other yeah. avenues uh, and start stuff. seeing what I could do because mm -hmm. you know it's got to go beyond the music. Um, and it got to, you know, I got to start going, yeah. reaching out and just seeing what happened. Now, sure. And I reached out and, and he, uh, he showed love to Jay Sconey on his thing. Yeah. So I was like, you know, he, and I didn't know about Kid L at yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that he clowns niggas. Yeah. Like, he clowns sure. niggas Yeah, crazy. no, he do, he do. Like, he tell niggas, y'all shit, he can tell you, like, what are you doing? Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when y'all shit playing, he, he vibe yeah, and, and it shit. was like, yeah, when he, when he, you know, and. I, I feel like you can't do nothing but respect it. No, my, sure. my music, cause it, that's what I do. I yeah. make music that's no, sure. that's really from my heart. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That's facts. really that's really um inspired and 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 um influenced by the world and by hip hop and mm. by soul music mm. and by by my ancestors. Yeah, yeah, you for know, sure. It's for really sure. really about that, and I really big up my people. That's what that song was about. It's big up in my city where yeah. I'm from. Hell Just yeah. another day. Hell yeah, man. Mm. Hell yeah, man. Shit, man. Now, I usually ask, is it something outside music that you want to pursue and do? Mm -hmm. But you got the uh, Sun One Nation. Yes, sir. Um, how did that come about? I like the way that sound. You say nation. It's somewhat network, but I like nation, man. We yeah. might have to do something oh, shit. with that Hold shit. Oh, shit. Hold on. Damn, my bad. No, I keep saying straight. nation. No, I kind of like yeah. that shit. That shit <laughs> sound kind of hard. <laughs> Damn. Damn. We might have to <laughs> cop that shit. No. Damn, it is network too, though. That's my bad. No, you're... Straight, bro. Like, <laughs> we gonna figure something out. With that shit, man. No, okay. Yeah, you you say you and your pops, man. Someone, mm -hmm. uh, network, mm -hmm. uh, whatever. Um, how did that come about? I know you said son, you want son. Yeah, yeah. Like that's how did it come about? And what and what, um, tell us what it's all about. Yeah, my pops is also the only son, and his um. Oh shit, that's dope. Yeah, so that's yeah. He, uh, he grew up in a much tougher situation than me. Okay. Um, and you know we grew up. 80s period you know mm -hmm. um he was born in the 70s but you know grew up in the 80s and yeah. had to experience that whole crack you know, yeah, yeah. whole thing man is you know from detroit trickled down to jackson in different mm -hmm. areas so he got to he had to you know navigate that mm -hmm. um and he he's a rose that grew from the concrete For sure. you know his mama's name is rose as a matter of fact she just passed away this summer rest in peace, oh, yeah, rest in peace. um and um <clears throat> like he he is one of he's probably the biggest inspiration in my life okay um and he's always been there for me he's always uh been my best friend mm. he used to cut my hair when i was a kid since, How they go? since i was a kid it was always dope you know okay but i said so, my days always yeah. me up though like <laughs> no, my man he, my pops, he, he hooked me up man. man he always used to hook me up um and it was just always love man i used to stay with stay with him when my parents were separate and mm. you know I, I spent a lot of time with him mm. um so he's the reason why um very much the reason why um um 
in a mental place that I'm in right now, in okay. a spiritual place that I'm in right now. Yeah. I've had a lot of epiphanies having conversations with my father, mm -hmm. um, which I think is the way it should be. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, that's the way, like, as you look at a village, you know, mm -hmm. you see, uh, um, uh, like, a, 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 the young buck, you mm -hmm. see them, they, they get, they following um, yeah. the pops, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. following the sensei, the, yeah, um, sure. the, the OG. You yeah. gotta see how, just everything is OG, teach yeah. you how to do it. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. And, you know, he will take me to these meetings with him. My pops is an educator. He's okay. a teacher at Jackson in Jackson Public Schools okay. my whole life. Um, also worked at the prison and teaches at the prison currently. Okay. Um, and we got three state prisons. We got three prisons in Jackson. Yeah, that's the one thing city. I do know about Jackson. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody know the prison For city. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he works in the prison. So the idea of someone network is to use um, and utilize the stories of ours mm. um, and the process that we have been able to uh, navigate um, you know, whether it's him going from his situation growing up as a child mm. and seeing um, all of his friends and the ways that they have gone. Okay. You know, he took a professional route, mm. you know, which has had various um, consequences, mm. you know, when it comes to feeling certain things and having to separate yourself from people who you grew up with. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, and learning how to still stay true to who you are and yeah. he very much does that and i learned that from him okay. um and, and people love him for that yeah, yeah, yeah. excuse me um we starting a business together because he's the he's the person i have to start this business yeah, for sure, with for sure. it only makes sense yeah, yeah, yeah. you know he's the person i'm closest but he's about to pick me up from here yeah, yeah. You know okay saying? okay yeah, that's um, dope, yeah so it's like uh the, the company is a holding company mm. um it's very much still a startup mm. um we're getting things uh, figure out and situate it but the idea is for it to be around the entertainment industry okay um i'm obviously very passionate about music yeah. i want to utilize music as well as education as well as our stories to mm. show people expose people mm. model um and then assist people and doing something similar but in their own way so Man, um, the holding company provides opportunity for other entrepreneurs to work with us co collaborate whether as subsidiaries mm -hmm. or partners or tenants in mm -hmm. a in a retail space that we plan to um, yeah, open uh, up. acquire mm -hmm. yes and um and, and basically um support those underlying businesses mm -hmm. um and, and creating a story of their own yeah, 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 and, yeah. and all of it coming together and that's what sun one is about it's everybody finding synergy amongst each other okay that's, that's dope man that's dope man hell yeah sun one nation yeah, but you ain't gotta be a son you ain't gotta be a male to be the son you yeah. can be a woman oh yeah you for can sure. be a girl and be a son, you know, yeah. you, you really, you, it's, it's about the light that you bring in. For sure, man, you know? for sure, man. Now, like I said, man, I know, you know, your, your pops is picking you up and stuff yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, man. Yeah. So we're going to get towards the end, man, mm -hmm. wind down. We had some good conversations in this yeah, boy, man. Sure. So we do, we end off, man, versus, man. Yeah. You know, the versus battles and stuff like that. Yeah. So I give you um, two two things, two people, whatever, and you give me who you think will come out as far as the winner, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Soul food versus seafood. Soul food. All right, all right. Gotta you, be dope though. You, it gotta be on. It yeah. Gotta be on. You watch Martin come growing up, right? Yeah. Gina versus Pam. <laughs> Gina, Gina. I think Gina. Yeah, I go Pam. Pam had that little chocolate man. I'm like I think Gina, man. <laughs> Gina just. Gina just. She just has a certain delicateness. Yes. Yeah. To yeah. Me. I don't, she fell off now, but back then she was straight though. Yeah, now she kind of looking just, like. For me, that yeah. it was yeah. when. Yeah, for sure. That, no, she was what, bad. She was bad. Yeah. They were both just, bad. You know no, what I'm saying? But as long as younger, I used to be like Gina. But then I got older and started seeing uh, Pam shape. I'm like, damn, yeah, Pam. Pam yeah. <laughs> I don't discredit yeah, Pam. Yeah, sure. Pam definitely bought it too. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now stay on Martin. Martin versus First Prince. <sighs> that should be illegal. <laughs> I shouldn't do that. <laughs> um, Man. I would say I probably watch Martin more than Fresh Prince, yeah, honestly. Yeah. yeah, for sure. But Fresh Prince and Will Smith is just legendary. It's just more, yeah, it's yeah. Just, it's come like, on, man. yeah, for it's sure. Not, I shouldn't even. <laughs> it's not even fair, you know. All right, when it comes to the chicks, yeah, in person game or DM game. What you mean, like, in, in, like, me? yeah, like in your in, in your face? I'm spitting game to you, yeah. or versus I'm spitting game to you over the DM on IG. Oh, I hate social media, man. Yeah, yeah. okay, like, so I, wish I didn't have to be on it, bro. Yeah. I slide on. I, I'm a slider in person. Okay, easy. I mean, shit. I ain't been sliding too much lately. I'm you know, trying to figure this situation out. I got a little shorty who, okay. um, who, I, who I care about a lot. Oh, yeah. Shout out to you, shorty. It was just a question. I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, no. We, oh, no, for sure. We, you know, 
we still trying to figure everything oh, out. Oh, yeah, for we, sure. I'm in New York, you know. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She's not in New York, so we, whatever. Yeah, but man. anyway, um, I'm an in-person slider. I slide up on okay. you, know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing. I ain't, yeah. like... I ain't really behind the phones and shit. I ain't yeah. really into that. I'd rather, very much rather hang out with a, yeah, with for a sure. person if we gonna chill and we gonna talk and vibe because it happened like yeah. this. It's, yeah, for it's, sure. It's organic, you know? All right. Give me a, this, give, this is a funny one. I never asked this question. New car smell or new shoe smell? Ooh, new car smell though, man. New whip, cause, Cause man, that, you know you young boy, you can get them shoes. Like, yeah, the shoes is nice. Like, damn, but the whip though, man. Yeah, no, that's a different smell. Yeah, like, come on, man. I'm gonna experience that I one mean, day. Just, that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, one day, sure. bro. One day. Yeah, for sure. For be sure. The car that I want. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Not the one that's in the third in, in the line. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. Four, they will trick four, you. fifth, six. <laughs> uh, give me, uh, give me Scarface versus Ice Cube. I was just thinking about Scarface the other day, man. Scarface is a legend. Hell man. yeah, for everybody, sure. Fast. Everybody, I feel like he don't get discussed he don't enough, man. At all. Um, Ice Cube obviously is a legend as well. Mm -hmm. Man, just for the underdog, say I'm gonna say Scarface, yeah. man, because I listen to Scarface too, man. I watched some Scarface interviews. And Scarface is a real musician. He sure. really bought it, you know. Yeah. He really, and I'm not saying Cube is not, mm -hmm. um, but Scarface, he just he one of the people who who you know has kind of been um, I think underrepresented when it comes to yeah, hip hop fans. and Hell people yeah. recognizing him for what he's brought to no, hip hop. For sure. Hell yeah. um, that song with him and, and Tupac, Smile, yeah. is one oh, yeah. of my Hell favorite yeah. songs, sure. man. Back with my... Shit, probably my top 10 for yeah, this song. Yeah, man. Like, when, when my homies pass away or when my family, that's the song right yeah. there, you know. All right, so give me a uh, summertime drip or that wintertime drip. Shit, summertime, man. The sun's shining. Yeah. The sun's shining, bro. When the sun is shining, the sun one, we lit. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Now, this, is, ain't, this ain't gonna be fair, but whatever. J versus Nas. What are we talking about? We talk about just as uh, pure lyricists, not pure the body, not the whole, not the whole body representation. Just, uh, just bars. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that made it harder. <laughs> but man, I was listening to um, Empire State of Mind yesterday. Uh, yeah. But but uh, Jay Z's, yeah. Jay Z's Empire State of yeah, Mind. Yeah, yeah. New York. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, King um I gotta go with Jay Z, man. <laughs> I gotta go with Jay Z because Jay Z just different. Yeah, no, for sure. He, Jay Z just different. I'm going now, but it's, it's okay. It's Jay Z, okay. but yeah, Jay Z yeah. is just different. Like the way Jay Z can. His flows is just. Yeah. Nas definitely can. He got flows too, yeah. but Jay Z. Yeah. And on top of Jay Z's a, just a boss ass nigga, man. Yeah, for sure. One thing that I, I hear a lot of pushback about Jay-Z and that you know they say he's selfish I watched a recent interview on Kanye he was saying that you know everybody know Jay-Z is selfish Dame mm -hmm. Dash says that and these are big big people who do yeah, yeah, yeah. big business with Jay-Z that's one thing I kind of you know hearing that and, and I don't really you know I don't I don't like that feeling yeah, yeah, yeah. but um as far as him being business and, mm -hmm. and uh, artists and yeah. uh, you know uh, and a producer and a mm -hmm. writer I think Jay Z, man, he yeah. like. I think we don't even know what Jay Z's done. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, for we sure. don't even ha like, yeah. have a clue what he actually. Now, stay on the same shit. Mm -hmm. These two, are my favorite songs, man. Mm -hmm. One mic versus Song Cry. One mic. One mic. Yeah, one mic. Probably one mic. This my my in my top five songs. One mic and slipping by DMS is like oh, man, two of my songs, dog. Like. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, slipping, man. I was listening to that shit so yeah. heavy, man. That shit, man. Rest in peace, like, DMS, yeah. man. God damn. And that's the thing, too. Everybody ain't have to be struggling with addiction yeah, to, to be able to go through to that. Feel that yeah. you know, to, to, to feel what he's talking about because we yeah. all slip in some ways. Now, the last... You know? Oh, my bad. Yeah, no, that's uh, what I'm saying. The last versus is going to be business side versus the music side. What you asking? Uh, what what ask, if you All right, best. If you had to choose one, you got... One that you got one uh, one someone network, and then you got your artistry. If you had if you had to, if you had to choose one hypothetically, like you got these two options, which door are you walking in? And I can't have the other. Yeah, you can't, you can't have the other. No, <laughs> fuck <laughs> music. Fuck this business shit. Yeah. Music, nigga, I fucking die without music. No, for sure. You know Hell what I'm yeah. saying? I'm 
music, period. Yeah, yeah. Like, fuck it. Because I'll be out in the wilderness somewhere playing music. <laughs> yeah, you for sure. Be out there doing business. Hell yeah. You know <laughs> fuck, Hell yeah. Man, I'll roll a joint out in the wild playing my guitar. Yeah, and for busting sure. Busting rhymes. You know what I'm saying? Music will never, ever no, die. It's hell always no. been here and always, always will. For sure, for you sure, know? man. No matter what. Like I said, your music the always going to The birds is out there singing right now, hell yeah, making yeah. music. No, for sure. You know? Hell yeah. And I uh, always end everything off, bro. Drunk moment or a high moment, man? Man, that's, it got to be a high moment. I, I like, And that's the thing, too. With this job, like... Yeah. <clears throat> um, Can't get high? No, no. <laughs> no I, I think... I don't know, honestly. They don't drug test it. <laughs> they don't drug test it. But I'm also not who I am mm -hmm. at work. No, for sure. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm, sure. I'm me. I'm a, human, I'm a human being. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I'm a human being, and I have a job, and I have to execute my job, and I do. Yeah, yeah. And I do it in a timely manner. And he, for sure, because he came right here, plugged yeah, up everything, exactly. and got to work. <laughs> and I, I sent them emails out, and I set that calendar invite yeah. out for, for me and my teammates right after this. Yeah. And, um, but... I'm a human being. No, for sure. And for me to vibe with y'all sometimes, for yeah. me to vibe with my pops, we rolling a blunt. Yeah, 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 yeah. We for sure. vibing. <laughs> yeah, 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 we for sure. vibing. Yeah, yeah, for for sure. me to vibe with some my shorty, like we vibing, we yeah. had to roll a blunt. Like why would I have to hinder myself for that? Yeah. You no, know, why for would sure. I not why would I not be able to do that if I can handle it handle mm -hmm. it? If I'm not gonna be late. Now if it's messing shit up then okay. If it's then, fucking yeah, everything yeah, yeah, up, yeah. then uh, I gotta be reconsiderate. But um a high moment is Man, it was so funny. I was out with, with three of my homegirls. Um, they was in the Evans Scholar program with me. We all live in the house. It was like 70 of us. Okay. Um, and these was, these was other, uh, it was a Hispanic and two black girls. Mm -hmm. um, just cool people, um, younger than me. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I kind of was like a big bro to them, but mm -hmm. we would just kind of vibe out sometimes and we would smoke some weed. <laughs> we went to McDonald's one time. <laughs> and mcdonald's like you know 10 minutes away from from our our uh our building yeah. and um we went down there drove my whip and we in the uh in the line and shit they order you know they want the nuggets blah 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 whatever yeah. they get it come time for me i'm in the back seat high as shit yeah. <laughs> and i'm trying to think of what i want yeah and i just start laughing <laughs> i can't stop laughing yeah you just <laughs> I can't even like I can't say you can't, anything. You can't, you can't make yourself stop that shit. Like, and my homegirl is right here. Yeah. <laughs> she like, he want a chicken sandwich and a nugget. Yeah. Cause I can't I, I, I was stuck. Duh. I was stuck. Duh. And it was like they waiting on me to say something and, and I'm just, just like stuck. Damn, what we y'all smoking? Like I don't know. <laughs> it was back to before I was really, you know, before yeah. I got used to it like that. But it was like when you first start learning how, how to smoke weed, yeah. you get stuck sometimes. <laughs> and I got stuck in the line. I got stuck in the line. I was the last person to order, yeah. and I was just like, fuck. I, they had to order for me. You just cussed out loud, man. I, I, it was like, it was funny because my homegirl knew exactly what was happening. Yeah. She, it was telepathic. <laughs> yeah. She was like, I know, she was, she, yeah. she, I know the fuck you going through right now. <laughs> she was hip. Duh. And uh, she helped me out. So shout out Liz. She, she definitely looked out for me. And, um, Duh. So love. Man, high as hell came and get the shit out your, out your mouth Man. and shit. That got me fucked up, nigga. Like, I was like that one time, like, because I don't smoke, bro. So yeah. if I, every once in a while, I might fuck around just to do it. Yeah. And sometimes you be in those moments, though, like, God damn, I can't. Fucking <laughs> cheek moans hurt, nigga. You just go ham, dog. You go, man. That shit funny as hell, man. Well, shit, man. Like I said, man, I appreciate you coming, yeah, man. Absolutely. You can't. Yeah. Man, how, so uh, real quick, because uh, a couple seconds, man. Yeah. How, how do you, do you like to move to New York, man? Like, have it been beneficial for yeah, you? Yeah, it's been great for me. Um, It's been where I need to be. Mm hmm. Um, I, I, I come across so many people who are helping me get to where I want to go, mm -hmm. um, helping me visualize uh, the potential, For sure. you know, see bigger. That's what Ann Arbor was. It was the next step for me beyond Jackson. Mm -hmm. um, that's what um, that's what Michigan was, you know what I'm saying? And then now New York mm -hmm. is like the next step. And, yeah, for sure. I don't really know what's next after New York, yeah. but um, where we like, it's not really crazier than New York. I don't, <laughs> but, um, but like, that's where I need to be. Um, it's expensive as fuck. Oh yeah. So like I'm spending yeah. so much money trying to run this business, trying to, 
you know, be an artist, you know, spending money, <laughs> like, you know, exactly, yeah. just live. Like, yeah. I got to be careful now. I got to, I be spending my weekends in the house, like, yeah, for sure. like working on music or doing my thing because I can't be out here having fun. Away. Yeah, splurging you now. Yeah, it, yeah. it's, it's, it got to be careful, but, so it come with its pros and cons, but sure. I'm, that's exactly where I need to be right now. For sure, for sure, yeah. man. And now you got anything, man, any encouraging words you want to give to the people, man, before we leave about it here? Yeah, I would say, um, to anybody who, you know, is thinking about doing something, mm -hmm. you know, pursuing the dream, pursuing the passion, mm -hmm. um, pursuing even this money, man, believe in yourself mm -hmm. um, and, and, and understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. For sure. Understand the value behind the opportunity. Understand the value behind, you know, what program that you are applying for. Um, the value behind the conversation you about to have with X Y Z, um, the value behind the girl or guy who you who you about to sit down with, who you in a relationship with. What does it mean in the grand scheme of things? And believe in yourself that one you deserve the best, mm. um, and, and believe that you can go get it. For sure. And I'm a I'm a um, a testament to that, a living testament because. I wrote it down when I was 13 years old and I followed through. Mm -hmm. And my main thing, I was I never wanted to lose my soul in the midst of it. I never wanted to lose who I am as a person. I never wanted to lose Jackson. For sure. And, and the fact that I lived on Chidock and the fact that, you know, um, I lived on Chidock but also would ride down the street mm -hmm. uh, to the country club and see the like the whole city change yeah, for in sure, 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I, I never want in that 15 minutes, I want to remain who I was and be able to um, include parts of myself that or, or, or adopt parts of these different environments to myself yeah. um, So, and I believed in myself the entire time you know I definitely had doubts and had so many periods of, of um, you know confusion of wondering I'm feeling like that right now man yeah. I'm spending so much money so much time I'm barely you know I, yeah. I ain't sleep bro I ain't yeah, sleep today sure. um, yeah. all grinding, of this man. you know and, and I'm grinding but I believe in what I'm doing and that's yeah. why I'm doing it I see the it, value man. behind what I'm doing yeah. I see the value behind sitting and having this conversation because I saw your podcast mm. you asked me to check it out and when I checked it out I saw that you asked good questions yeah. and you like to have a good conversation for sure, for sure. you're not just that. there for no bullshit yeah, yeah, and yeah, I respect yeah. that I appreciate and, that and, and like that to me matters the most that's what that's what I want to be a part of with people who actually care to actually understand what you're talking about no, for sure you know, yeah. like they not just here for no bullshit and it's it's some interviews that they asking bullshit why is y'all <laughs> niggas asking that shit man no, for sure like for why sure. do you care about for that sure. like, and you know what I think because with me man I grew up loving like documentaries yeah, interviews and stuff like that yeah, so I could watch that shit all day yeah. and then you you be like damn I wish they would ask them that or I wish yeah, I would know a little bit man, more about come them come on yeah, yeah. so and you know what I'm saying it's like y'all done just wasting my time <laughs> asking sure. that shit man like I could have sure. just found that out <laughs> <laughs> like damn yeah, I could you or something dog. easy man, no offense, man. Right? I just didn't even need to know that yeah, like yeah. what the fuck are you yeah. asking that for yeah man so I like to really like man like I said man if you get one view or a million views mm -hmm. bro this is gonna be documented and they can mm -hmm. always go back and check it out mm -hmm. and see like oh they had a dope ass conversation you mm -hmm. feel me that's what it's all about with me it's just a, a good conversation ain't no bullshit what you do yesterday shit like Absolutely. that you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. and with me I'm gonna actually like make it so you ain't coming and wasting your time I'm gonna yeah. actually Study and listen to what you're doing and all that I shit. I appreciate that, bro. I, yeah. I, I fucking commend you. I respect appreciate that, it. man. And, and I respect you reaching out and showing me love. And, oh, yeah, and, for and, sure. And, Facts. You know, and, and feeling the vibe, you know, from the Kid L yeah. um, uh, podcast review. Mm. And, um, and, and and feeling so inspired to reach out and make this happen because yeah, that's sure. the way shit happens. That's what someone is all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about seeing somebody else who's talented and tapping and, in, and tapping in. Let's yeah. tap in and make it all great. No, for sure. That's the only way it's gonna be great. I was in the studio last night with my homie. He turned my song from zero to a no. well, from fifty to hundred. It was dope. <laughs> for it sure. was dope. But he turned my shit because the engineer niggas don't know the engineer and the producers. They the ones who making that turn shit. the song yeah. from fifty to hundred fifty. Yeah, like you, you think like you record? Yo, shit, yeah. yo, it is not hitting. It's not slapping <laughs> without no engineer. No, for sure. Because he gonna put, he gonna put the extra little sauce on it. Like damn, that shit. Like, <laughs> I didn't even know it's gonna sound like that. Like right. for sure. But so, and that's what Sun One is about, you know. And I want to find opportunities to 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 you know. To create those oppor to create sure. those opportunities mm -hmm. and to facilitate that, you know. Oh yeah, where well, can't find you, man? Yeah. On social media, man, with, with your with your music page and then with the yeah. with the business. Yeah, you can find me everywhere at Tony Arcon T O N I E A R C O N. Uh, Sun One Network is the company. S U N O N E Network. Um, I have a com uh, a company website. 
uh, sunonenetwork.com, and I also have tonyarcon.com. Um, check that out, bump it. Uh, we got a lot coming. But you tell about your, uh, yeah. your show tomorrow, man. Yeah, uh, the show tomorrow. I'm performing. I'm coming back like to Ann Arbor for this show. Um, it, it's gonna be at 8:30 p.m. Uh, at, at Hub Ann Arbor. It's gonna be super dope. A lot of people. It's, it's gonna be intimate, um, but a lot of vibes. Some homies from Detroit. Excuse me, one homie from Detroit. Um, mm. His name is Dope Vic. Okay. Um, he uh, he's coming to perform a track with me. Um, another homie who from the Ipsy area coming to perform a track with me. Um, a couple of tracks of his own as well. And then another homie from. Um, he from he studied at Michigan with me. Okay. Um, he got some tracks, so I got some openers. We're gonna do some crazy shit. Um, it's just going down, man. Sure. All for the love, all for hip hop, soul music, good people, mm. good vibes. We someone network is gonna provide food, so pull up, um, try out some of the things that we gonna be serving as we continue to b build this business up. These are the type of events that we are gonna put on, sure. showing people how you know how to facilitate something that's gonna help everybody yeah. grow. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, we turning it all the way up. Hell yeah, man. Like I said, I appreciate you, man. You came yeah. right from the flight over here, dog. Mm -hmm. Pops mm -hmm. probably outside. Probably didn't hit you up and shit. So what it's time not... is it? You got 2.30. 2.30. So it's not like holding him up, man. Yeah. But no, uh, like I said, I appreciate you coming on this mud, dog. All right, appreciate no, man. You, everything going to work Thank out you. with everything Absolutely. with the business and shit. All the other things you're doing, yeah, dog. Music. For sure. For sure, man. Yeah. Like I said, appreciate you coming, dog. Yeah. Episode 95. Yeah. Shout out to everybody. Ah.